Did you go to the shortcut thing? Yes, I did. I'm in the I'm in Cyclopean, whatever it is. Yeah, if you grab, you can actually go to the thing. There's a shortcut key. Um, I'll show you where. I can go to the uh, here. Go to what? Here. I'll show you. So if you go here and let's say I'm you, I have it all on my thing. But you could literally just cut and paste this thing. Well, mine doesn't have the hashtags. Yours has hashtags. You could just grab that and you could place it down in the window and just go hashtag. Yours has the hashtag built in and it automatically does it for you. I need so, the hashtag. You have to have a hashtag before you do it. But it's in the thing. If you click this shortcut up here, everybody's stuff's already loaded in. I already put them all. Megan, look, you're a space person. What the hell? What the <laughs> hell? I didn't know that was something you could have. Where'd you get that? <laughs> I, I just, no, I just found it. Yeah. Oh, my God. I it want that. Fabulous. Oh, um, my God. That is so cool. I got to <laughs> put that on mine. How the hell did you get that? I don't. It's in the same location, but if you scroll down further, there's I don't, like I didn't there's know, other options. I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> Holy That'll crap. help book school classrooms be more productive. Exactly. Oh, sugarhead! I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> How do I? Oh my gosh, do... we should do this for. <laughs> How do you do this? We should do this for of uh, the space one. Oh yeah, we should. <laughs> I can't How do get you my do fish. This? You gotta um, scroll it's... down. It's in your. It's under there you fence. go. Yeah, look, I'm a fish. I, I I don't know if I like this. I don't get it. I mean, if you, you click on it. the three dots. At the bottom of the window, apply visual effects. <laughs> I don't know about this. Oh, and just God. keep scrolling down. I don't know about this. Filters. <laughs> it's like Instagram, <laughs> correct? It's Instagram. Oh my gosh. Right. <laughs> this is fabulous. It's going to slow down my computer. I might want to use this. I wish this was on my work account because this would make geometry so much more fun. <laughs> you got a little pause. Look at your, look at print. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Wachowski. <laughs> How could they take that? I don't understand. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> oh my god. Mike said, look at Paul's a pirate. <laughs> oh. What, what the hell? How? What's this on my oh, hands? Wait, but I can't have my hands. <laughs> my hands will get Oh my gosh, you're a cyborg. That's awesome. That's so crazy. Oh, that's cool. I what did wow. they put all this in here? Yeah, kids won't get nothing done at school. <laughs> think it's on their school accounts no you know what happens i have the paid account so i get all this weird stuff oh my is... gosh i need to buy this what, this what is, is this i want to see what this is something one is. i need in my life it's very productive oh what the heck okay oh my god look at this <laughs> this looks like some... <laughs> this looks like something out of what is that thing called the uh avatar <laughs> got some avatar looking stuff going on here well, this is good this is good for children i don't know Good night, Bear. What is this one called? Fireflies. Oh, I got the firefly Fireflies. one. Um, so the I've face always wanted to look cool. Well, if this isn't distracting, <laughs> I don't know what is. This is my favorite. Which one like, do you have? It's got like squids or not squids, I'm sorry, octopus. Jellyfish. And like little jellyfish. Sorry. Wow. Slow. It's time to start Slow. my VTuber career. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Mike, what do you got on your head? Oh, it's a baseball cap. I thought he had a squid on his head. I didn't oh, know what was going on. Frogs. I love this. Oh, this this is awesome. Now, if you're gonna have fun, this is one way of doing it, I guess. There needs this to be D, D themed. Yes. Huh. Right. <laughs> they don't have anything like that. That's too funny. Like that. Pirates the closest thing, yeah. Oh my god. Pirate. Pirate. This is phenomenal. Weird. <laughs> Here you go. I got a pride parade background. Maybe 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 well, maybe not. Okay. Let's say is that act Um no, that's definitely a pride. There's the trans. Yeah, I don't know. There's <laughs> Silly stuff. Super cool boy. This is awesome. I'm sticking with pirate. 
They need to work on putting hands. Not yeah. like <laughs> that does ruin the illusion somewhat. If I can't just drink rum without messing it up, what's the point? Or have you drank too much rum? Oh, I only just started, so. <laughs> So, John, next time we get together to do some kill team, I needed those three assault marines I made for you. I need to trade you back for those. Because I have even better ones than them for you. Now that all the bits came in. He's gone. Who am I talking to? He's not even there. Okay. Bad folks. How you doing, Mike? Oh, we lost uh, Megan, too. Yep. Something going down at the Dewey household. Going down. Yes, the internet. Oh, where the bad folks go when they die? Don't go to heaven. Okay, okay friends. I'm Thank sorry you. for that. I had to run to the potty before we get started here. So I just want to um, let you guys know. Um, so I'm actually not putting the recordings online. I know that nobody here cares but me. All right. I care. Two, you care? Oh, I care. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry you were here. But the only reason why I don't put them online is because... um. I don't think anybody really watches them. No, number one, I use them as a place marker so I go back and find out what's the last thing we did because I get confused because a lot, we do a lot of things. Um, you also pushed us into volume two, which is bigger than volume one based on your actions, which is typical um, Dungeons and Dragons. Especially when you're kind of walking through the underworld, you don't know where you're going and you just end up some places, right? The last thing we let up, left off with was... There was a, um, I want to make sure I get the names correctly. A, uh, you were in Ismini, City of Endless Darkness. Uh, you met up with a um, Durger, okay, that said that his, um, here we go. The Durger was named Magar Kotrick, right? And he was uh, pretty convinced that he was... Um, his king was uh, compromised, and this was over in a Durga. Basically, their kingdoms are pretty much mines when you get right down to it. Uh, you guys came in there, befriended him, things went on, and uh, he wanted you to be in a venturing party with him to go and uh, take care of this and put a prince in place, right? He, uh, he had a band about seven Durga that kind of ran off when a demon popped up you guys had to take out, Okay. So he only has two people left with them. One's to call Ock, right? I think I called him Talak, right? In the um thing, which is fine. And the other one um is a Durger named Gerdhart. Now Gerdhart <laughs> is an interesting character because he is somehow uh his dark city past is that he's Durger, but somehow he was somehow got lost in the caves, ended up somewhat raised by normal dwarves so he could speak common he could also speak the language of the underrealm but eventually he left that enclave he has some kind of relationship with with dwarves or with humans could speak common tongue but he's also very much durger very anti-charismatic gruff individual he does end up with uh some severe magic abilities that um one of them, he can summon an earth elemental, uh, a 10 hit dice, I guess it's 48 hit point, one time a day to help him do his bidding. Comes right out of the ground. Of course, if you're underground, it's a good place to be, all right? But he has always been, um, how would you say, Margar's kind of like elite ranger that went out and searching for stuff. He came up from behind on you guys, okay? After you slayed the demon going on and the other guys ran off, 
he assumed you guys were dead. So he walks up from behind you guys. And you're currently, um, if we look at the uh, hex map here, you guys are in the position of entering this turn right here. I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing on the map. It's it's right here. If you look for it, it says CH10. Right over here at this crossroads, you guys are coming into it. When he sneaks up from behind on you, okay? And so I'm going to let uh, Gerhardt, who just walked away from the screen, introduce himself. Perfectly timed. You notice that? Like there's certain timing that's impeccable. That was one of them. How to get my crossbow. <laughs> Damn, sorry. <laughs> but anyways, so Gerhardt shows up from behind. Go ahead, Gerhard. Uh, you want to surprise these people by some kind of dialogue? <laughs> my name is Gerhard. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, who are you lot be? <laughs> well, you know Margar's there. Margar is like your your oh, emb emissary to the king. He says, Gerhard, where have oh. you been? We are like, obviously... We have got to get to the king. King Arlick is basically compromised. I, I sent for you a while ago, and now you show up? We could have used you before. We were getting attacked by a demon. Well, I was you... scouting out these tunnels. <laughs> for other big baddies, things to clear out. <laughs> you don't want to run into any more trouble, you don't. Now, Gerhardt's very well versed in the in the, the language of the Underdark, so he can read things. And obviously, the king can, too. I mean, the emissary to the king. Magar, but um, at the time you guys get up to the crossroad, uh, I'm going to let everyone do a wisdomized check. So for our first rolling of the wisdom checks, if you go back and you look at your, if I, if I go back into here, if you look at your shortcut keys up here at the top, I have this thing, it's called 1D6 uh, dice rolling. And I've started doing this. I kind of really like it, the way it works. I've been practicing with this. So you could do anything that you would normally do in 5e, except you get dice, d6s, and according to whatever your number is. And everybody has a certain number. And you guys can look on your little things that you pull down, and you can see what it is. So if there was like a wisdom check, right, which would be perception, right? Animal handling, insight, medicine, perception. Someone like, let's say, Sendow would roll three d6s. And if one of them, uh, one of those dice come either one or two, he passes the check. So let's just practice one. Let's just do this with Sindow real quick. So Sindow, where it says, you just write down either, yeah, hashtag 3D6. Who's doing this? What does it say, Rolls? Hashtag 3D6. I did hashtag 3D6. Hashtag... There we go. There it is. Okay. So he hits a one. So the one means he passes the check. The other two would not pass the check, but the number one does. Okay. The only reason why his his is a little bigger, if anybody watched the little video, is because he's supposed to be a thief. So he gets a little more out of the whole thing. So it'll be a little fun. So, anyways, um, sure enough, Sendow, you're coming up to a cross crossroads, and you could tell that there is when you get to the Y in the road, okay, that there's something just not that much further up ahead in uh two different directions, both over here and both down here. I know it's really hard to see with this cursor. I'm surprised it's not bigger. But uh, over here, we see the crossroads are at. So uh, you guys are going to have to make a decision either going up or sort of going down. I guess that'd be north and south if there was north and south inside the earth. There's something off to the north that I can just make out. Should we go Does anybody it? remember where you're trying to get to? Actually, I could just tell you where they're trying to get to. Because yeah, I, I just remember it was a long, a long trail to get there. Yes, and and part of it is like you're getting to a kingdom, yeah. and and it's going to be a circuitous route to say the least. But yeah, you're going to be all the way out. See where it says eleven? You got to get to eleven, but you're going to have to go through a bunch to get to eleven. It's not just a straight shot. It's impossible. It's tunnels. Can you, can you zoom that out a little bit so we can see kind of what's going on? Okay. Thank you. So you have to get, this is the, the kingdom of the Durger right there. And you guys are right here at this crossroads. So it looks like to the north is really the more practical choice. Now, uh, just to let you know the uh yeah well it could be these things are big cities 
the bigger squares, just letting yeah. you know. So, you know, and I think you guys kind of know there's like secondary, tertiary, primary paths, right? The primary paths are like, you know, 40 feet across are the ones that are lines, right? And the dash ones are much smaller. Uh, let me make sure I said that correctly. Um, yeah. Primaries are about 30 foot wide, secondary 20, and tertiaries are only about 10 feet wide. Just kind of getting an idea of making passage through such a thing, how big it's going to be. So, yeah, it's something to consider. I, it's up to you guys. I mean, you guys are, this is your boat. You're on, right? I guess, more or less. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, I was reading my character sheet. Where are we? <laughs> uh, anybody want to help? Just the range. I don't really know where I am. The, the specialist in the Underdark doesn't know where we are. All right. ha, such a nerve-wracking experience. All right. Uh, we're at Crossroads. You see where it says CH10? Yes, I do. Um, the solid line to the left where it meets the dashed line, that kind of T-junction is where we are. That T-junction. Okay. Just to the south of that hollow hexagon, like three hexagons down. Mm -hmm. Or John could just point it out with his cursor. Yeah, but he won't do that. It's because he wasn't paying attention. He's a bad student. I'll show you. It's right here. Oh. Right there, at that T. You can either go north or you could go south. Essentially, is what that is. Where's the Dwegger City? It's in CH11. 11. That right there. Okay. I see everyone's chiming in. Mike, is that volume or no? Can you talk? No, I can. I I couldn't hear I was, you. Yeah, no, I, I was. I, I was. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't realize that I was that I was muted. Am I? <laughs> am I? Am I still a golden dragon? I think uh, so. Yeah, golden dragon. I don't think nice. you've ever changed. Yeah, because I was I was pulling the cart. Yeah, I polymorphed into a golden dragon and bit the head off a demon. It was yeah. good times. Um, don't ever change, Mike. Yeah, I think you guys uh, played a game without me. Well, you know, we're That's just what, warming up for you. Yeah, we're waiting for you to come in. Um, okay, well, then if I'm a golden dragon, then um, I say we go north. Hell, if I'm a golden dragon, I'd say go where the hell we want to go because I'm going to bite the head off of whatever is in front of us. <laughs> Makes sense. So that's what you guys are going to do. So, okay, do I have a marching order? Does somebody have a marching order for me? No. Um, am I, I the tankiest? I take the lead. Huh? I was going to say our I, intrepid ranger should take the lead. Yeah. I should take the lead, even though I'm um, not. I'm looking at my character card. I'm not technically a ranger. No, but underground, you probably would be. Come on now. Okay. I, I just don't think that. This is I your... mean, master of the underdark. I mean, I don't understand how you would not have these abilities, right? So, so uh, and if I remember correctly, I'm a golden dragon and I'm pulling a wagon. Yeah. Well, yeah, you got a wagon behind you. That I'm, yeah. That's been strapped to me because our oxen died or ran off or something. <laughs> yeah, it's the bad stuff happened. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Why? So I'm, I'm trying to remember where, where we're at. <laughs> what's, what's on the cart? The ambassador and uh, Tolik. Okay. And yeah. some of their gear. Yeah. Megan says, I don't remember any of this crap. I um, will um, bring up the rear and protect those in the wagon. Okay. So uh, <laughs> uh, I guess Sundow, you'll be in the front of Fizz. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Um, Boom, this is kind of your setup, right? You okay. got Gerthard in the front, Sendal, Fizz as Golden Dragon Man, right? And then you have Talik and Mugar in a cart. It's a wagon. And Bryn, you're in the back. As you're coming up, you hear noises, and Gerthard automatically knows exactly what they are. He uh, hears like, uh, yeah, fleshy 
tubular sounds kind of thing. Sounds like uh, kind of like someone smacking jello against the wall kind of thing. Kind of sloppy sounding of, you know, things. Uh, let's let's put it this way. Imagine you have a plunger and a toilet going up and down, trying to break free that big one, and you have that weird ass sound going on. That's exactly what you hear, echoing up through the caves. He calls it Dular. There's Dular there. How many? He doesn't know. But he knows. So he's seen it before. Mm. Uh, for all practical reasons, he tells you they're massive beast, not to be trusted and not to make eye contact with. You want to kill these from a distance here, dude. <laughs> or not fight them at all. Depends on what you like to do. I mean, that's not our style. <laughs> not really not. We've taken on demigods down here. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go out, as I say, up, up top. Yeah. yeah. So um, as you, uh, you guys can see, uh, I know you guys. For those that can get on, uh, Cyclopean Deeps, you. I mean. The uh, for those, I think the only person that can't get on this is Mike, right? Because he's illegally using his work computer. Apparently, did I say that out loud? <laughs> yes, Not you bad. did. It's you right. can never play a game on this computer as long as you live because you'd be in trouble. But I said it, I said it if you want to see the map yourself, if you want to click your guy and move it, it's free. So, there you can have some fun with that. But going back to the thing, um, you can see that there is a uh, whoa, let's go back. Here we go. Um, this thing starts to approach and stands at the entrance way. This whole thing is moving this direction. Uh, they're coming, oh, as you boy. can see, moving this way, which is really kind of crazy. Uh, you don't know what they are, but you can hear stomping of feet. In fact, I'm just going to move these guys up. Are you going to move each one of those individually? Uh, I don't know any other way to do it. Do you, <laughs> you know how to use Schmeppy? Do you want to? No. Okay. All right. Then we're just going to move this like this for right now. Just to kind of, and I won't move them again. I'll just say they move as a cohort. Then you can understand how this goes. Right now, you guys have to decide what you want to do. I don't, uh, right now, you're not really talking to me. So I'm just trying to figure something well, to do with my free we're time. We're just going to, um, Fizz, um, Fizz suggests that um, if there's something ahead that needs um, a dragon breath, let him know and get behind him. And I keep pulling the cart forward, slowly, lumbering. So when you say you're a golden dragon, you mean a literal dragon? Yes. Yeah, I have, and I'm, I have... I'm actually confused if you were able to actually study spells. When was the last time we studied spells, or what your spell list is? But let's just keep going with this. Yeah, I don't know either, but at this point, I, don't think I can't <laughs> oh, cast no, spells the... because huh? I'm a golden dragon. Oh, dragons okay. cast spells. They're magical. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. Right? Would you think so? Yeah. I would think so. I mean, they're actually, that's one of the things they could do. I mean, yeah. they're magical creatures, right? So they're That's true. Cheap. All right, so let's do this. You guys are now embarked up. You're up to this point. This is your situation. Gerdhart and Sindow, all right, are able to look down the passageway, and uh, you get to see what it looks like. It looks very Cthulian looking monster, 15 feet or so tall, many tentacles in the mouth, Bat-like wings. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to try to take a read on this thing, but it's like sitting in front of you. Looks starting to end the I don't like it. How many of them are there? <laughs> well, there's only one sitting there right now. Uh, yeah. If you see it, he's right at the end of this thing. These guys are trafficking through. Okay. And uh, partway through, you see this other one kind of move up here. Stand at the doorway. These guys start to traffic this way. You see what appears to be a miniature army of serpent fork. Well, I mean, if if those dulg dulg, I would have yeah, dulg. I guess dulg. I don't know. If they're just acting as like traffic cops, we can just let this army walk by and be in our merry way. Okay. So I'm just kind of inclined to wait and see what they do. <laughs> okay. Not going to judge a book by its cover. Why? Oh, I will. No. Okay. <laughs> it's all, that's, that's all weird. I got. <laughs> okay. I, I like the book and the cover. I look at mm. both of them at the same time, right? Mm. Um, I just like the pictures. Can I just? <laughs> is that is that your favorite thing? 
Let me see if I can find something. I love picture books. Uh, I gotta find a picture of something for you guys to see. Uh, well, that's interesting. I guess I'm wrong there. Uh, let's see, guess what's being here. Hmm. Hold on a second. Oh. Oh, here's okay, cool. All right. So uh let's go back. Hey Mogar, are 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 your dwarven folk happen to be in war with these serpent people <laughs> at the moment? Because if so, this would be a good time to tell us. <laughs> okay, so um you take a look at the guys. They do not have weapons on them, but they're simply walking forward. They all look like this, pretty much, except they have loincloths on, no armament. They're just kind of stomping forward just in a direction, almost mindlessly, all of them. There's like uh, probably close to, let's say, 32 of them by, by the count of the circles. So they're just kind of marching, and they march on, okay? And so I'm going to take them off the map. You're not going to see them anymore. They just continue on their march very quietly, okay? And then, um, how do I click these things? Okay, well, I guess they're not going to let me do this. All right, cool. So as they as they pass by, one of the things that Dula, right, that you saw uh, is going to keep going with them. Okay. And the other one just still stays in your pathway, just staring down the alleyway at you, not saying anything, Okay. So this one moves off with them, visibly out of sight. So this is kind of what you're seeing right now, okay? All right. Um, I don't know who's approaching. Who's doing the talking? I'm in the back. <laughs> hey, that keeps you out of this, right? I am not. This is not where I'm about. Uh, I guess I will. Okay. Can't okay, move, go ahead. I can't move my guy though. Um, yeah, you can. I'm trying to, but it's just shifting the map. Do I have to hold something down? Oh, you got to push the thing that says, This is what it looks like from your point of view. You got to click the thing that says oh, token. token. Gotcha. And then you can move your guy on up there. Here you go. Up T. Here we go. Fizzle poke his head around the corner. Up here. Mm -hmm. And I will say, May we pass? Uh. Sure. I it doesn't understand you. Oh, Gerhard. May I see you a moment? Mm -hmm. uh, what can I do for you? Can you guess this thing if we can go past? Do you speak its language? I think I speak its tongue. I yeah. don't know if I speak its tongue. I don't know. I know only the uh, the common of the of the upper world. I don't know any languages. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check what I know on this handy dandy note card I keep on my uh, person. You you would actually be able to speak with it. Oh, I can. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could speak the Underdark. You would have to be able to speak there. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. You know, All right. What do you want to say to this thing? Oi, buddy. <laughs> I need to travel through this uh, this here passage. Uh-huh. Got anything to say about it? It says to you, and uh obviously in words that only you would understand, which doesn't mean anything to anybody here. Everybody else, everyone else hears and some guttural sounds and slippery tentacle noises and stuff. And it says you cannot go north, you can only go south. Why? What's up north? He says, you cannot enter the orchids. The orchards. You growing stuff down here, are you, snake boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he says, you cannot enter the orchids. In my orchards. It won't answer you. Why not? It won't answer you past that. I, it was say through. hypothetically, 
say we go up north and we go to these orchards, what happens then? What are you gonna do? Huh? It says a hundred gold pieces a piece. And do oh. not touch. To go north? Hundred gold pieces a piece and do not touch. No wagon to go north. No wagon, no dragon. <laughs> no, no wagon or dragon. Do we even have any cash at this point? I can't remember. It's a deal breaker for me. Oh, I do have a little bit of gold. You guys had a t Mike. I can't even hear you. Yeah, we. Uh, got I've money. got some gold on me. Yeah, we got a little bit of money, but um, we also left a bunch of it back in that other town. Um, oh, I got a lot of money. Holy crap! But I don't say that out loud. <laughs> Um, I, you know, well, they're away from me, so I can't, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. Um, all right. So, uh, <laughs> actually, Gerhardt's the only one talking to him right now. So yeah. if, if you think of it like this, Gerhardt's got to communicate back to you guys yeah. what this thing's saying and what this thing's, you know, whatever. So John, I need to clarify is the, is the 100 gold pieces to cross at all, or is that to go north? 100 to go north. And where do we want to go? I don't even remember. North. <laughs> you want to go north? Yeah, you want to go north. Well, actually, you're here. So you have one path is to go this way, all the way see. around to the kingdom. We can't see. Oh, yeah, we can't. Sorry. See. Thank you. One path is to go from here to 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 all the way to here. The other path, I guess, would be go down, go over and well, go would, around. Well, that would take longer. Go down, go around. Yeah, all we, go north. we should well, offer we, half. It is his orchard, orchard, or whoever he works for. Yeah, but but we have a um, we have a history of not paying any toll take. <laughs> we don't pay anything. We're, we're, we're gonna break that 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 history. Well, I don't know if you guys have money. It's up to you. I mean, you don't well, know what yeah. this thing can do. It's a fairly yeah, large it's creature. Really it's really weird looking. Uh, you, might, you might you might want to look at it again. Right now, there's just one sitting in front of you. It's very Cthulian. That's a warning to all those that ever read any of that crap. That's exactly what this thing's looking like. So don't get scared of it. But here you go. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't write this. Finch wrote this. And now I look at it. I'm like, this guy was not. Well, he's funny. That's what he is. But go ahead. Yeah, he's not well, I communicate to the party that he wants to pay. He wants us to pay a hundred gold toll per person to go north. I'll and make forty. Touch anything in the orchard? Yeah, yeah. No more than forty a piece. Okay, I'm gonna try to haggle with the snake dude. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, there is forty a piece. It's all, all right, it's haggle, haggle, late. master. Go ahead and jump on here. Give me a, I guess for you, it's a 1D6 roll. Your charisma sucks. Go ahead. Yeah, one or two. Yeah, one or two, it. he'll take your 40 apiece thing. Go ahead. Three. Oh. He says, <laughs> he says 50. 50. 50 apiece. What do you guys think? 50? Do we have yeah. 50 of these? Oh, yeah. And we're going to have to bring the dragon and the wagon. That's that's a deal breaker. We got to have that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to roll for that? Yeah. Because now you're going to try to force him to uh, take the wagon and the dragon. Okay. You get the roll again for that. Oh, you just did. You got a six. Well, he's definitely not taking the dragon or the wagon. Why not? <laughs> what are you against dragons and wagons? Don't like wheels. He says it, it'll dis, it'll disrupt the orchard. There's no room for the no room for the wagon on the trails to the orchard. Bollocks! The dragon's too big for the orchard. Your dragon, can you change? Is there room to fly over the orchard? The dragon could carry the cart over. Yeah. Well, no. Well, here's the question: Does Mogar want to leave? This is Mogar's wagon. He was taking his wagon to his king. Margar says he has to get to his king and he doesn't care about the wagon. <laughs> and so does Talk. Talk says his oh, king. Folded like a cheap suit. <laughs> All right. 
Um, <laughs> if Bogart says that, I I believe we'll run into bigger problems than one of these if we decide not to uh, just pay Fine. the toll. All right, I'm going to transform back to my wizened old magic user self. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait. You're still the size of a wagon. There you go. Now you're coming there again. You go. There you go. All right. I guess you're going to drop the wagon. Yeah, I'm going to. I thought you had money on the wagon, too. I thought that's why you were carrying the wagon. I don't know. I you don't had a bunch of track car on there and a bunch of gold. I thought you loaded up before you got out of there, but I don't know. I, no one seems to remember anything they do anymore. It's only been a couple months. I know yeah. Strahd's been in there. So go ahead. It was. Uh... Um, all right. Fizz is. Uh... Fizz is going to go try to um, convince the guy to let us bring okay. the wagon. I think that's going to be funny. Go ahead. I can't, <laughs> I can't wait for this. Go ahead. This, <laughs> this, this is why I play this game. All right, go ahead. Let's and see how Fizz, Fizz, Fizz gonna, What's Fizz going to do? <laughs> Fizz is going to try to communicate in sign language. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he's going to use the power of Shylock, his golden cat. Oh, okay. So everyone else is going to be failing. <laughs> well, the Dura Law has to fail. Well, has to roll right. a minus two. All right. Anyway, so I'm going to try to convince him to let us bring the wagon. All right. Well, your charisma is the same thing, unless you're casting a spell. Is that oh, what I'm you're not doing? casting any spell. I'm just using Shylock, my magical kitty cat. Okay, Shylock. All right. What? <sighs> you have a magic cat? I have a magic <laughs> cat. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to have to take a look at Shylock for a second and see how much he's going to affect the situation. Um, for all those people out there wanting to know, mainly this would be um, Paul. He's my familiar. He's a golden cat. Shylock. And here's the problem with Shylock. He's lucky, unlucky. <laughs> uh, three times per day, as long as it goes with fit, the owner can re-roll one dice and take the most favorable result. <laughs> of course, everybody around him... Uh, well, be... Everybody around him will be unlucky if Mike is lucky. So that's going to be one of the fun parts of, uh, let's say, uh, any of this. So... I tell you what, let's go ahead and um, let's dole this out, Mike. I guess normally it'd be 1d6, so it's going to be 2d6. Oh, nice. All right, 2d6, right. one or two. Let's see if he pulls off the wagon. 2d6. Oh, one he got a one. <laughs> he didn't even need to use it. <laughs> All right, he allows. He likes the cat. Yeah. Uh, in fact, this big monster thing starts petting the cat with one of its tentacles just kind yeah. of runs it down the back of the cat mm -hmm. totally entranced by it and uh he just kind of like schluffs off into the distance so uh as strange as this may be he just turns around and kind of like he doesn't even ask for the money he yeah. just moves over here and just lets you guys go past nice uh -huh. well, now, we gotta, I love that. now we got to figure out a way of pulling the wagon <laughs> <laughs> um he doesn't care about the wagon we just walk him hey you oh. should pay 40 gold pieces a piece right wait or but we can i can we can have somebody pull the wagon if you if, if you want i'll pull it am i strong enough uh well you get a big check don't you what's your check for strength i think it's pretty huge or do you want to become a triceratops 46. 46 by right? 46 i think yeah. you probably pull it all by your big self right so if you want to go ahead and go hashtag 46 hit a one oh well she won two 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 four wow look at you holy crap obviously you're not gonna have a problem with this at all this is getting the hell out of her way he's very impressed <laughs> you, you don't need no stinking dragon she <laughs> grabs the dragon by one arm and just yeah. kind of pulls it along and obviously moves it down the trail so yeah you got that oh, going on god so Brent scooted up to the front of this thing and started pulling this wagon right along. No issue right. whatsoever. And obviously, I guess, Gerhardt, you're still leading the way, right? No problems. Is he still there? Where is he? Froze? Yeah. Are you in trouble? He said, All wait right. a second. 
he's in trouble. He said something wrong. Mm. Okay. Sorry, I'm here. I'm here. Hey, I. Uh, so this is our scenario. Now let me let me. We're gonna cut back out and um, clearly go to a different map at this time. So um, but Durger, he's just gonna leave you alone. Right, no longer sees you as uh, an enemy. Obviously, the cat was just very, how would you say, amazing, an amazing, a completely amazing interaction. She's a golden cat. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Let's see something. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. A golden cat. <laughs> oh yeah. What? Oh. Oh, okay, let's do this. This is 102. All right, kids. Here we go. What are we doing? Oh. oh. There's going to be a whole lot of weird coming up here. Um, I got to flip a light on. I can barely see. It's like. Uh, just so you know, um, Fizz gets in the back of the wagon. All right. As right. long as you're 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 okay with that, Meg. <laughs> no problem, Fizz. Yeah, I, I appreciate you. you. I'm a little tired from walking, and I'm a hungry. God, oh. being a dragon makes you hungry. Yeah, how's that adjudicated? Um, I start pulling out my kitchen and I'm start to prepare stuff. So you start coming up, uh, obviously, up this passageway, okay? It's fairly broad, so each square is 10 feet. So you can see it's at Brain least... Pool. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Um, 10, <laughs> at least 30, 40 feet apart, right? So broad passageway running southeast to northwest, right? All three side passages that head in the northeast direction. The side passages do not have doors. They're open archways, each with the ruins scribed over the top. Ooh, um, interesting. Yeah. So as you're walking up, uh, clearly, uh, Gerhard says he starts reading out loud what's over top of each one ruin. It says dead end, dead end, dead end. It says as you kind of just walking up. Interesting. Um, yeah. So the first one, he just said, he keeps saying dead end, and as you move up, he goes to the second one. He says. Uh, it's a circle, right? And as he moves up to the next one, right, he says, hmm, this one looks like a vertical line cutting in half an equilateral triangle. Hmm. Don't know what that means. There's certain things that uh, obviously Gerhardt's not going to be able to read, right? So we'll just go with that. All right. So as you move up to this area, okay, fascinating you come upon something that's really kind of strange there's a split in the Y. you guys don't know where you're going you'll have to tell me where you want to go um okay. completely up to you uh yeah there's a there's a y in the road, y in the well, road. do you want to go straight north or do you want to go towards the direction we're going which is uh, trying to get to is northwest well the road we're following is pretty major the whole way so i figure the longer we stick to the biggest road that's the right direction groovy all right so as you guys keep going up you get to something that um it's a large statue that stands against the northwest wall of the chamber that's the star you guys see that right um don't touch the statue and the moment you see it, <laughs> you feel a sense of well-being all right, oh. it's a 10 foot tall statue depicting a person with the head of a snake sitting cross legged on a low pedestal. His snake like tail curling sinuously around the pedestal, right? The statue holds its arms outstretched, holding a large, deep bowl. The floor in the front of the statue also seems to have been sanded down in circles to make several indentations for the size of a human head. A man in a long silk robe's of a priest stands to each side of the statue. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
So they're uh, they're wearing silk robes. They have wooden boards, parchments pinned to it, right? And each one carries a quill pen, a small and... bottle of ink tied to the writing board. Greetings and salutations. Um, so Gerhardt, who are these? What? Who are these people? No idea. Just no idea. Mogar, do you have a clue? They look human. They look human. Down here in yeah. this pitch blackness, this darkness. Okay. Hmm. Is the bowl to give offerings or to put someone's head uh, in? No, you're supposed to write something down and there's a bowl. Perhaps it's to make some kind of offering. Hmm. All right. Um, uh, uh, well, they're sitting there just kind of waiting for you guys to kind of do something. They Really, devoid of all emotion. They're just standing there. And they have the parchment. And it has, like, weird writing on it. Uh, so, Mogar, our, right. our ambassador, I mean... He may, Bogart's a little confused. He did not come this way, so he does not know. Oh. He was always told to avoid this area. Oh, great. Now you tell he, us. Well, he just okay. <laughs> tells you it's the domain of Yoliquin, which is one of the main elders of existence. He mm. does understand very little about it. He was always told that uh, there's something was born in the pools of chaos. And its existence puts things into will. Mogar also tells you that uh, he uh, he has heard of the fact that this is a harvesting area, right? And that they collect <laughs> bodies for food and brains for food for other organisms in the Underdark. They raise them here. Fabulous. Oh, great. Lovely. And we're walking lunch. Yeah. Well, no, but they mainly grow serpent folk, the, like all the ones that you saw walking. It says yeah. those actually have their brains removed. Gotcha. The brains huh. are used to actually uh, feed the encephalon gorgers, but the uh, the bodies are used for uh, food for any other entity in the Underdark that's sold for food. Hmm. That's Fancy. You say that's lovely. <laughs> I, I, uh, that's just lovely. Uh, Durger, give yourself a roll, bud. Get a 1d6 roll on this thing. Let me see what you dig up. Three. Uh, as, a, as a ranger kind of guy, you actually notice that there's um that because you came down the path, everything went up. You could clearly see that there's just nothing but like serpent tails from things moving. Okay. To uh, illustrate this point more clearly, that there's like these long strands in the dust with two feet print, hooven footprint on the sides of them. And it looks like it's like just in the dirt, like, like a train went through practically. There's two sets of tail marks and four sets of feet. It looks kind of weird, but you can see something just exited this area, right? And, um, well, clearly, uh, that's probably something that is um, a commodity. All right. Communicate that to the group. Okay, that livestock just came through. Great. So do we sign our names to this board and keep on walking, or we just keep on walking? Uh, Can we ask the humans standing there what they're doing? What they're waiting for? What is their purpose? I'll ask them. Super. So, uh, evening, gents. <laughs> so, uh, what's all this about? 
<laughs> uh, they smile simultaneously, and then they both bow and say, what do you wish to purchase, food or for brains? Oh. And one of them holds like a list, and your reading of it in the underact one is the brain, I guess the grocer list, and the other one's for food for the uh, carcasses. Yeah. We are just passing through. We yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, say well, we're all stocked up on brains. <laughs> so they they smile. And they say, "How much? How much produce do you want?" They keep repeating it. It's like almost like a rehearsed line. I don't know if they have any brains. Hmm. No, you know, we're just looking to pass through. Is that, no, so. We're trying to get to the uh, Tuega City. They say Point it has been a direction. bountiful. They say it's been a bountiful harvest. That's How good. much I'm produce gonna, do you I'm need? I'm real happy for you. Real happy. No, but uh, we're, we're just past. We're just trying to get to the Duega City. Can you point us in the right direction? Do you wish to have both? We should just keep walking. Ah, I'm just kidding. And as we go, I say we will we'll inspect and we'll come back before you know for our our, our purchases. Yeah, that's that's what I say. We'll think about it. Think about it. Get okay. back to you. Give me a call. Fair enough. Have your eye people contact your people. You know. <laughs> All right. So as you uh, continue along the path, you get to. Uh, they don't follow you. They just okay. You don't want anything. Eh? They're not pushy salespeople here. No. They probably have enough orders to last them. Right. You're standing on a rock shelf that forms a balcony of our large, strange cavern below. The ledge continues along the wall to the southwest, steep but apparently natural stairs spiral down from where you stand. The cavern ceiling is probably 30, 40 feet above you, and the floor of the canyon, like a cavern itself, is about 100 feet below, along with the healthy scattering of stalactites. The ceiling is encrusted with some form of fungus that looks like barnacles and glows with a yellow light, brightly enough to illuminate the entire scene below. A panorama, almost mesmerizing in its bizarre quality, the canyon below is an uneven 40 to 50 feet across. A line of train tracks wends, wends its way between the growths that appear to be the trees. But they are hung with strange fruit, bodies that look like snakes of all different types. But they are snakes with disturbing human arms and legs. You can barely see the cavern floor through the glistening bodies, like bundles of dead eels around each of the trunks. The stench of rot drifts over the hellish panorama. I got a nice picture I could show you. Because it's all oh, about please. the picture. <laughs> and the picture does not do it justice, but I'll show it anyways. Here you go. Ready? Here's your picture. Okay. Yeah. So all the trees, they got eels hanging off of these serpent men hanging off of it. But <clears throat> the wagon's not going to be able to go down that passageway. Boy no. said springtime in the underdark is the loveliest <laughs> time of year. Oh, and it looks like a heart or a, um, no, it actually looks like a bat on the other side. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, it's, does the ledge we're on continue on like around or do we have to go down the path? Uh, let's take a look at the, I'm going to look at the other map real quick. One second. Um, your name is. Let's see what you got. Uh, let's see what you got going on here. Kitty, what are you doing, Kitty? All right. Um, this is kind of this is kind of what you got. You got things that go down this way, and a path that goes down this way. Mm. Mm -hmm. And there's like some kind of looks like a uh a track that kind of runs through the entire gibbish. You're standing on number eight right here. All right. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Obviously, you can you can go down. It will be a. You don't have to do a check on it. It's made to go up and down, but you're not going to be able to take that wagon. You. 
Well, we don't mm. need the wagon. Right? Yeah. Something like that. No, apparently not if Mogar doesn't really need it, but man, it it beat it beats walking. Um all right. Um I'll I'll climb off the wagon. Um <laughs> it's better than falling off the wagon, I suppose. Yeah. Um Let's see what she did there. Unless I can shrink the wagon. Put it in my pocket. No. That would be impressive. I mean, I can uh, like quadruple my size and carry it, but you know, probably going to save that for later. Yeah. Uh, you have something approaching you. Oh, lovely! Another another duel. He's coming up for number nine. He sees you there. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He demands a toll of 50 gold pieces per person to pass through the orchard. Now you listen here. We already paid our dues to that bloke at the entrance. We're not going to pay again. They're all going to scam us. <laughs> I shout at him in his face. <laughs> <laughs> They're all caring on him. Well, you have a choice. Uh, you can make this one of your impressive roles. Yes. These goddamn snake people always asking for a handout. I'll get Gerhardt. Why don't you roll 1d6? Hope you get a 1d2 on this thing. I know you kind of caustic personality. I don't know how it comes across. This is it, man. Boom! Asked... Two! And I asked the other characters, are these Cthulhu guys like always broke? What's going on here? All right. Well, he's going to let you Everyone pass. Wants you said I'm a Cthulhu, but no you, one has you any said you idea already paid. And he's going to let you move through the or orchard, right? Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go back in. I don't speak to you or talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you guys are going to go and do this, right? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you people? All right. Okay. Uh, That's the path of least resistance. Is it? Yes. Well, it's got kind of like that polar pioneer quality. Through an uh, uh, the whole thing thing's grossing me out a little bit. On the cavern floor, you can now see more details of the bizarre place. The cavern is this floor one of those like pick as much as like you know five dollars per pound of blueberries kind of orchard kind of <laughs> no, no you can pick as many <laughs> zombies as you want and walk out i don't know all right here it comes the uh cavern floor is not stone it's a loomy organic substance much like dirt but spongier and slimier mm -hmm. cracked eggshells the size of a person's head are scattered thickly around the bases of the trees the entire orchard smells like rotted eggs there are a few thousand broken um, serpent-like eggshell shells rotting away from the loomy floor of the entire cavern. Trees are just as they were seen from the rock balcony above. The trunks are mottled purple and red color. Yellow veins running to the roots of the branches. The branches are laden with bodies of serpent people with vines and tendrils worming their way into their chest cavities to hold them above the cavern floor. Serving people of all sizes. Everybody needs to make a saving throw uh, right now. Okay. Or actually, it probably should be, well, it's, it's a constitution. constitution. Yeah. So you could do this. Uh, yeah, yeah, we could do, let's do, wait, hold on a second. Let's do this. Constitution. Who's going to be fine? Well, everyone's got a 3D6. Everybody's strong here. Look at this. What do we roll for this? Uh, oh. Hashtag 3D6. Don't hit a one or a two. That's all. Hashtag 3D6, everybody. I'm good. Frick is all right. Good. I got a two for Sendow Monk. Brent, you wrote, you got a six, a six, and five, five, and a six. You're throwing up. What? You said one or two was bad. No, no one, one or two is a, a pass. Oh, whoops. Yeah, yeah I'm puking. Oh, yeah. this is puking. This, this is puking. Send down is okay, and Gerhardt yells in the middle, it smells like home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
No, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that not that bad yet. All right. As you're going, I missed through, the cart. Oh my god. So as you're kind of uh going through this mess, I guess you might say, um any any uh because of the smell, if you guys decide to wrap it up in here and fight something, those that are nauseous are gonna suffer a penalty on attacks. Just letting you know because it's uh, maybe it's the sulfur hydride of rotting stuff that's stinging your eyes, making it a little harder for you to do stuff. But uh should we follow the train tracks? I mean, it's is that the is that the best path through here? Or is that's the only path through here that I can see, yeah. unless you want to like go past the other Cthulian guy. I don't know where that path goes though, but yeah, yeah I you right guys can go either yeah. down or up. I mean, uh, oh, I'm sorry, you guys can't see this. Does anybody got... want to be turned into a dragon and just fly us over over, over this thing? I could polymorph others. I would say that. Okay. Can you zoom out a little bit, John? No. Then it'll give you a direction. Ideals, you're not supposed to know the direction. So, so I, do, 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 I, do, do I get a sense that um, these things hanging from the trees are undead? Well, I don't know. They, they look like bodies that are being harvested, but I don't think the yeah. brains have been extracted quite yet. Okay. Who knows when the brains are extracted? I mean, I guess you don't know the whole operation. So you don't right. know at what point in time. There's approximately 24 trees total. Okay. Uh, there's 250 some odd small serpent folk that you think are kind of up in the trees, 250 or so. And probably like 150 adult sized ones in the trees. Right. Okay. That's what you're kind of looking at. So probably now yeah, looking at maybe 400 total. Right. All right. You see uh, several more of those dogs, uh floating around. Uh, so there's a uh, some some people are tending to orchard, as you might say. Oh, they're floating. Nice. Well, they uh, they got wings and stuff, so you know. Okay. Not to kind of let you know. So we're not going to burn their fortune. The, the tracks are made out of iron, right? They're kind of a narrow gauge track. Um, they have like these um carts. That there's um you could tell like they put the bodies in them and they kind of move them down. Um the Durger know that they are there, it's their machinery that they're using. It's the stuff that they have actually manufactured and either traded for something or God knows traded for stuff they gave to other things. Probably Fucking Romans, they've been everywhere. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's not stuff when you think about it. The Romans go uh, down here also. Do you guys want to go up or down? Because there's more to see as you go. Do you have any direction you want to go? Or what do you guys want to do? You're uh, staying here. Let's just go. Just taking up. it all in, aren't you? Just taking it all in. Well, let's, let's, yeah, let's go, go up. Let's, let's go, go up. up. Why not? All right. I I can throw up going north as well as south. Cool. Okay. Let's take a look, see what's going on here. Um, uh, you see this um, egg hatching? Okay. And this little serpent foot comes out and it starts to look for something to eat. It bites onto the limb of the tree and it immediately is paralyzed. Do not. And what happens is the... Uh, the tree grabs the branches grab around the face of it and just starts to to grow and it starts to lift it up up into the air and you can see it just kind of dangling there do not touch the trees I would... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's enough of this double this dog dare you go lick, lick the tree don't lick the tree <laughs> double dog dare you lick that pose <laughs> oh my god oh. all right i want it don't don't lick it probably a bad idea yeah do not lick the trees oh crap probably. that's always good when there's something there all right let's take this wait wait oh this is great you guys right. got us killed while i was gone no and we're still only, alive only slightly oh my god no so right there there's a it appears to be a pool of water right over here that's what you guys see right here. It's not water. Let's not go skinny dipping. 
So there's a loomy, mossy substance uh, of the cavern floor actually drapes into the water. It almost covers the entire pool. Mm. And what happens is it, the loom is actually drawing the water in, and it appears to be feeding the roots of these trees by capillary action. Hmm. How, how beautiful. Let's get the F out of this valley. Yeah. We, yeah. we stay on the tracks, and we go to the left. To the left? Right, yeah, because isn't that the way we want to go? We want to go to the I don't know. West. Do yeah, well, I think we, we want to go to the west. All right. So as you're trucking right along, uh, you get up to this area that does a spiral. Oh, oh well, that's not what we wanted to do. Okay, wait. Game pause. <laughs> this is going to suck. Good DM. Well, okay. Wait, wait. Don't say anything. Hoops in the Don't back. say anything. <laughs> Don't say anything. It can be used against you in court. When you enter this area, mm -hmm. this is what it's written. It's slightly unnerving. There's a very strong feeling that something is wrong or evil inside this area of the tunnel. the irs we didn't pay the toll the trails rails of the track from the circle here allowing the cart to turn around and return to the main track the cart is here its wheels set in grooves on the track it's five foot long and bears what looks like a wide ceramic bowl five foot in diameter four feet deep hmm. huge writhing tentacles reach out as far as 10 feet from the bowl looking disproportionately large compared to the relative shallow container Oh, they're they're feeding something down in there. <clears throat> yeah, we're not going to go anywhere near there. We're going to. Yeah. Um, uh, it tries that? to communicate with you. Oh, sentient. Well, greetings and salutations. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> it asks you straight up. Uh, what do you want to purchase? Why are you here? Oh, we're just passing through. You, you must purchase to be in the orchard. We must purchase to be in the orchard. Oh, that's the first and time that we've heard what that. What are you selling? What you got? Show us your wares. It says straight up. <sighs> well, okay. Well, this is going to suck. Waiting. It says straight up what what does it say it says it really says to the magic to user it says straight up, are you purchasing or not purchasing um, what what are you selling produce produce oh well i mean vegetables fruit <laughs> vegetables but not really they could be considered vegetables how much how much for one produce uh 50 gold pieces for uh the flesh 100 for the brain hmm the tentacles uh, the tentacles are massive it, it's disproportionately huge compared to the size of the container this thing's yeah. sitting in. I'll just um wait. Let me stop for one second. Tell us me... a little bit about the brains. What are, what are the brains? You know what what are they like? Nutritional facts, like you know, it deets, it deets. Uh, What's the pros, the cons. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the uh, Not the very keto. Do it's, I need to watch my sodium? It's high keto count, right? Um, nice. So it's low glycemic, so you're not going to have that These problem. Humanely sourced flesh and brains. Yes, from um, the trees. Yeah, <laughs> they were humanely done. Yeah, I guess Obviously we're going to fair trade here. Fair, fair trade migrant workers. Is that what this is? Let's do this. Let's do this. I got to get a nice little space here for you guys to have this. Uh, I don't want that, but uh, I use this color. I can't even tell that color. 
All right. Let's, I'm going to drop a signature here. More, more yes. Tools for you right now. We're going to put this pool right here. And Jeff, what'd you say? I'm assembling you four more Blood Angel Assault Marines right now. Oh, nice. Sweet. Okay. Uh, at the pool is just kind of sitting there, and I just. Uh, yeah, it's telling you you have to purchase something if you're here. You've come this far. The track's kind of moving through here. I, I guess I can sure. draw a track through here if you really want to see one. This to... says, well, well, we're What's here. For? On... Is it for eating? What's it for? Well, we're here huh? on behalf of the um, is, is, Ismen, Ismeni uh, Corporation. And um, Ismeni? we are here for, yeah, for our buyers. We're looking for... Um, if we bought in wholesale, could we get a discount? <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'm just going to have just to roll to see what he's going to do. This seems like... Uh, I think an elder god would be amused by these questions. An elder god? <laughs> Like who the hell are these portals asking oh. stupid ass questions? <laughs> it demands the purchase of ten of ten produce, either brains or 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 flesh. You need to purchase. Is it halal? Is it halal? <laughs> I don't know, but the Is thing I need to know. <laughs> um. Is this good well, for Passover? Yeah. No, I think at this point, um. I'll, I want to purchase one produce and take a look at the quality of the wear. Yeah, I would like to inspect the wares too. That seems fair. That's a fair request. You 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 do business, do you not? <laughs> okay, it grabs you. <laughs> this would be, um, I guess, fizz. <laughs> 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 This thing's this thing is it's an elder god. You guys are gonna piss off the deity. All right, this will be cool. Let's have it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens here. Um I think I, it's a fair request. It's a fair question, but I, I think he's irritated by your lack of purchase power. How's he does this weird amount of damage here? Let's do this. Well, but, you uh, know, uh, with the verge of recession, oh, I just this isn't too bad. So he grabs you and he throws you with his tentacle. Uh this is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. All right. Doing a total of eight hit points of damage on Fizz. He throws him literally against the cavern wall. Hey, and then you he know, you're not ass. gonna get he turns an ass get now the same question. Are you purchasing <laughs> are you purchasing flesh or brains? He's done with Fizz. Fizz doesn't answer. Yeah, I'm not purchasing anything. Yeah. I want to inspect. <laughs> You can throw fizz around as much as you want. I'm not buying anything until okay. I get to inspect the pro the pro the okay. <laughs> so uh all right, well hold on a second. So he tossed fizz. Fizz has been now laid out here. Obviously throw fizz, kill fizz, do whatever you want to fizz. <laughs> I'm not buying anything until I get to see the wares. <laughs> I guess he's gonna go for Gernhart next because he's running his mouth. He's I, 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 my parry block. My sheet says I have a parry block. Minus okay. five to attack. I activate it. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Parry block. Twenty. I think it's gonna hit you. You rolled a natural twenty. God no. He rolled ten plus ten. He rolled twenty total. He's minus five. Me. No. Minus five won't hit me. No, no, I wrote, I took it off already. Instead of it's instead of it being plus fifteen, it was only plus ten. My AC is twenty. It hits. That's a twenty. Ten plus ten. I thought, is 20. I thought ties were to the no. Okay. That's when you're doing initiative. <laughs> ah, whatever. Okay, let's just pause. come join me at the he wall. Does, he did twenty hit points of damage on you. Oh fuck! I'm dead. No, you're not. You're still lying. Oh, wait, that's 53. I'm looking at the wrong number. Never <laughs> <right>. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. That's two guys. He turns to you, Sendow, and ask you, are you purchasing produce or brains? He's going to go through the list here. So I'm going to back away from it. I was range of the tentacles. Okay. And I'm going to say neither. 
Okay. Let's see a second. Okay. So you're just backing the hell up. Neither. All right. I'm going to piss this thing off in striking range. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what kind of idiot would piss off an elder god in striking range of tentacles? All right. The next one obviously is <laughs> Rin. Brass balls. That's it. Are you purchasing brains or flesh? I am purchasing flesh. Okay. But I can only take one. It's going to throw you against the wall. It's not payday yet. Come on. What, what did you go? I can't understand. I, I don't, th I don't think it's that it. hard. Uh, is he like a drug dealer except he's dealing with bodies? Come yes, on. he is. He's horrible. Jeez. Oh, my God. He's just rancid. Can I Can I? Um, wow. bounce uh, off the well, wall and like attack him uh, with my sword? We obviously we obviously cannot afford sixteen hit points of damage on you, Brent. Oh, He's bring it! I'm fine. I'm fine. Can I attack <laughs> this guy? <laughs> I'm going crazy now. This is not. Look, I don't think we can fight this. <laughs> oh, I'll fight. <laughs> whoa, whoa. You guys, you, you you have to These guys fight anything. It looks like a funny they'll fight, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, God, this guy's <laughs> not here. We're scared of him. We don't need him. Uh, so Mogar and Talik. Uh, they are kind of just uh, trying to back up. They're trying to stay out of this thing back here with Sendow, right? Um, yeah, that's uh, kind of where you guys are here. Uh, your move. Um, Can I go try and like drag the other three back to the train track? Oh, at this point, I think, I, think, I think we can walk back the train track. And Fizz is, Fizz is saying... I guess we have to go home and get enough money and then come back so we can buy at least 10 because you can't buy one. <laughs> Are you really saying this to this elder god? <laughs> Jesus, Lord, all right, it reaches a tentacle out of fist because you're just not no. being quiet. Okay. Can oh, I grab Fizz? <laughs> wait, wait, one D20. This is funny. I, I just, yeah, let's see what happens. 34, I think that would hit. Let's see. It just claps you and slams you again. Can we <laughs> 11. I don't know how many hit points you have. He's beating the hell out of you with just one big tentacle. Keeps how reaching how heavy is Fizz? Can I pick him up and. Oh, I'm sure you can pick him up. Oh, yeah. Him. I need to bring him back right away from this thing. I would stop talking. <laughs> yeah, let's just not talk to this guy anymore. It's kind of rude. Uh, very <laughs> cranky. Very cranky. <laughs> uh, so, uh, all right, so Brid, you're grabbing Fizz, right? Yep, piggyback. Okay, let's do this. All right, so you could have grabbed this guy, snatch him, and go for a run. Yeah. Uh, maybe this way. <laughs> okay. Gerd Hart, what are you going to do? I'm going to run too. <laughs> you sure you don't want to talk to it? You sure, want to, well, sure you don't want to sass it with a bad offer? <laughs> I, I, It's not a bad offer to ask him to look at the merchandise. I didn't think so. I I was gonna pay for one body. I, well, I had enough money for. It. Oh, you know, I'm just saying this. this it's cranky just, pants. Uh, I liked how when Brent saw brain pool, probably said mm, maybe there's some bad shit in here. <laughs> maybe, maybe something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's go back. Uh, yeah, so that was a nice little train track ride. You took your little thing. It's kind of like Disneyland, right? Uh, mm -hmm. This is where this thing I ends. Ever. <laughs> Ooh. Worse than the small world after all. Yeah. How many hit points are you down now, Fizz? Oh, what was the last attack? Eleven. Eleven. Um. Well, then I I ate from the four, so I'm down nineteen. Well. Okay. How about you, Brent? How many? How are you down, Brent? I'm down sixteen. You're down sixteen. Right. I'm good. <laughs> okay. I'm not, but. How far are you down? How many did you go down? Uh, your heart. 20. He went down to, oh, that's right. He did a massive blow on you. <laughs> he doesn't like the Durger if they're not doing business. Nothing's worse than a smart business. Uh, you guys, there's another door over here. I don't know what you guys want to do here. Kick ass. You're kind of shooting blind here. Let's go through the door. <laughs> Is that what you want to do? Check for traps. Listen. See what we hear. First. Uh yeah, huh. send out would be the best 5d6. If you want to do that, I will do that. Six. 
<clears throat> I'm going to start binding my wounds. Oh, God. How'd you do? I got a two. Okay. Uh, you easily walk over to the door. There's no traps or nothing on the door. Um, you can just open it up. All right. Uh, you open the door, and right. what you see is three prisoners chained to the wall. There's a drow, a dark stalker, and a Drugar merchant. Nice. They're asking you to free them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, do do they speak common? Uh, uh, they speak underdark, right? They speak, they'll do underdark. Just underdark. We need our translator here. He needs to stop playing with his kitty. No. This can speak uh, speak, they, can, they can speak um common. Okay. These are not no, these other ones are no. You can speak these guys, yes. Um where what's the name of the city we're trying to get to? <laughs> it's the Turgor mine. It's Grimaharda. I, I can't even say that correctly. It's such a weird word. Well, I think they like to, if they yeah. know how to get there. They said, yeah. They can lead you out of here. Are they all three like a group or are they here at Cash? Uh, they are not a group. There's Rosiac Farwalker, the Druger Mart Merchant, right? Um, Thomasa Atala, she's a dark stalker. And then there's uh, Jamolarer Keen, that's a drow. Hmm. What is a dark stalker? They've been trying to kill us for a while down here. His Rosie Ark says, are, are you trying to get the Gramahala? I can get you there. I can get you there. In fact, I'm a traveling merchant. I come from there. I come here to make purchases, to make trades. I know I, I, I kind of screwed up the uh, trade a little bit. You can see how they treat people. That, um, last thing you would do is uh, be caught giving false coins oh. especially to any of these people i shortchanged them you weren't sure. able to like pay um you weren't they didn't throw you in here because you couldn't pay for 10 brains right no 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 so what happened was i they asked me to purchase um i was purchasing to make a trade and then i make another purchase with the encephalon gorgers so so i brought them coded coins not real coins and when it was discovered, um, I was grabbed by one of the pools, slammed against the wall two or three times, and uh, obviously drugged down here and, and enchained. So uh, if you ever shortchange the brain, this is what happens. No. Never shortchange the brain. Never. It's, uh, it is actually a the elder god, Yoloquin. He goes on and starts telling you all this story stuff because he's been dealing with them for years. He says... Um, uh, Yolikin, he's he's one of the more feasible things. He's come from the primordial ooze that's uh, involved with the aspect of chaos. But oh. he uh, has no problem, or they, I, mean, I guess they don't really have a gender, have no problem making deals, but uh, unless you shortchange them, then they have a big problem with it. But if you free me, I can lead you out of here. Yeah. But I would advise not walking by the pool if we decide to do that. <laughs> yeah, we figured that one out. Makes perfect sense. Um, all right. What about the other the other two of you? What are what are your stories? Uh, the other one, uh, he's a renegade drow. Doesn't actually come from a household. He does not want to talk nor associate with any of you. He just wants to be freed. Hmm. And the dark stalker, not interested. Not interested in being freed. Not interested in well, being freed is always an interest. Yeah, 
the aspect of actually discussing terms of freeing. Right. Well, we well, already we have, have um, three. We have a time. I mean, just kind of as, as far as getting out of this this orchard area. Um, well, they sat there and they said, "Well, we we will help." So basically, the draw and the uh, dark suckers are talking to each other in Underdark. I think the only person that could possibly hear him a little bit is is Gerhardt. And they're, as they're whispering back and forth, because they're really chained close to each other, they said that they would help get you home, but no allegiance. Okay. Well, as long as we get out of here. Yeah. They can go on their own. own way. I mean, if, if only for the sake of establishing some kind of goodwill, positive karma, I'm up for free in all three of them. Sure. Okay. Let me ask. That's... That's very, how would you say, lawful of you? Is that is that your alignment? Yeah, but nobody else knows because he's wearing an amulet. Oh, that's cool. I'm a neutral. You're oh, you come across as neutral? Yeah. That's what's on my sheet. Okay. But i but I believe in balance and there's a lot of badge. Going I think on you here, I so. think you I think you have to be law if you're a monk, but you're wearing something to disguise your alignment. So no one knows that you are. Right. I think we go back to day one. I think you had your, uh, you were yeah. given something to disguise who you were, if I remember correctly. It wasn't gonna... right. Yeah, hides the line and gives me dark vision. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what makes you special. I'm special. You are special. Okay. Here we go. So um, I could take this giant pool out of here. We don't want this. Okay. So these are the three guys that have joined you right here, just to kind of letting you know. Um, so uh, Jamalier, that's the Drow, uh, that's the Durger, and that's the Dark Stalker, right? Mm -hmm. um, so they tell you definitely we need to go down. We're not going up. Let's okay. <laughs> There's another one of those up there. Okay. Not, don't go that way, right? Uh, so they're kind of leading you through here, back down the trail. Uh, obviously, um, they get out towards the art orchard. Uh, it's kind of a mess. Um, they said, I think we just follow the track. You can say just follow the track. So they follow the track back down this way. Obviously, it's back. This is back. To, oh, God, you guys came to see what's going on. Shoot. Okay, there we go. You followed the track back down from where you started. Just kind of let you know. I'm sorry. We'll go back all the way up here. Sure. So you're here. You follow the track back down. And they keep following and following and following and following. Right? Mm -hmm. And then they keep coming down. And then they start having an argument. Do we go this way or do we go that way argument? Hmm. And then well, uh, you, somebody in here has got to break it up because the drow and the um, and the uh, dark. Um, what about our merchant and, guide? Uh, just our, what does he say? The merchant guide. He says, "I think we're going the wrong way entirely. I think we need to go back up the stairs." That's the way we came from. They said, "I thought you wanted to go home." They're having an argument now. And we're going to Grim Hole, ha ha ha, whatever it is. Hmm. Fizz, Fizz, Fizz says, "I think we should go to the left." So that means we should go straight. <laughs> go straight. Yeah, and now, um, Rosark is the is the Durger. He says, "I'm telling you, we need to go back up the stairs. This is totally wrong. We're going the wrong way." These guys are arguing. He says, "No, that's the way you come in." So yeah, whatever. Because no, I know you go up a set of stairs to get out of here. Yeah, but it's going to be the set of stairs on the other side of the of the orchard. He's at this point. He kind of just kind of give up with the argument. It just woods all around, so it's really hard to see much. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, if you're going forward, you get to this area. It kind of looks like this. Um, okay. So it doesn't this matter. Is, 
left or right. The cave chamber contains numerous workbenches, vats, complicated bits of glassware, racks of earthenware containers, shells of different weird ingredients. All the materials are relatively low to the ground, more size to a dwarf or even a halfling than a human. Oh. Yeah. So do we want to go back up the stairs and like down that ledge where the other... There's a doula servant working in the cavern? Um, it looks like a giant bat hanging upside down, sleeping in the top. It does not notice you. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's go. We can, we can go up and around if you want. Go where? Does this cave continue out or no, it doesn't? No. All right. When you're walking around, it wakes up. If you're okay. looking around. Uh, there's a bunch of animal cages in here. Um, there's an ocelot. An ocelot? Giant, massive earwigs. Poisonous vipers, sturges. They're all in animal cages. There's a I giant... Would... There's a giant oven that's big enough to cook an entire cow in it. Nice. Barbecue. Tons, tons of uh, glassware. Wow. Okay. Let's free the ocelot. It comes down and asks you what you're looking for. Um, passage through the uh, orchard. You can't pass through the orchard. Well, Good to know. Thank you so much. And we, we and we and we leave. Rosar keeps saying we have to go up the stairs. Okay. Let's go up the stairs. All right. All right. So you guys walk back over. Mm -hmm. You go up the stairs. And then hug the cliff to the southwest. So you keep going this way. There's another set of stairs over here that you couldn't really see because of the trees. Rosar keeps pointing. We go this way. We go this way. So okay. as you move down, uh, you come to something that, um, let me see this thing, son of a gun. Uh, you run into another one of those dueler things. You've already seen it. You've already interacted with it. It, it sat there and asked it basically the uh, uh, Gerhardt, why are you back? Just Trying to find our way. <laughs> you know how it goes. You get lost sometimes. In the dark, it's a big place. It's a okay. Place right now, you're going to have to roll a, a 2d6 there. Because you've got three prisoners sitting on you. Uh oh. Oh, no. We, we, they were always with us. <laughs> what? <laughs> See how convincing you are. 2d6, roll one or two. Always with us. Yeah, this is um, this is Rod. This is Butch. Come <laughs> on, get out with Fine, beat that. Yeah, uh, it kind of stops. It flares up as if you've ever seen a um, beta fish go do its thing. All right. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of going to beta fish you guys down. So uh, quit your peacocking and let us. Go. Yeah, it's. Yeah, the way it's kind of set, this is 10, 20, probably Seven 30 feet seven. across. Yeah, so we're looking at 30 feet across. So these uh, ain't the droids you're looking for. Yeah, let's do this. Oh. Mm. Is there another way out of this section than the way we came in? Are you asking me from a gameplay point of view or as you're a friendly DM, will you let me know that kind of view or how, how's that being asked? I'm just curious. As, as, a, as a player? Oh. Getting a sense of the room that we are currently in? Well, I mean, it appears to be there's a, well, if you look at the way this is set up, you could tell it continues down or does it continue over? I don't know. I, reach to the edge of the screen i can see okay that's what i wanted to know all right, you can see like there's something more that goes that way let's put it that way okay? okay all right we'll go back to there all right so for what you could see that's going on he's flared up he's going to be sitting in the center like this um i didn't want to do that control c let's go back to my token i drop him on there 
And I guess for all practical reasons, I would assume Gerhard was up front talking to him, trying to BS. You guys are trying to keep these three guys in the back, probably not seen, right? Because that would not make sense, right? Keep in mind, those guys have no weapons on them. They were prisoners. No one's given them any weapons, right? Does it make sense? Yeah. Guys, somehow there's more people than what you started. All right. Uh, let's put that there. Let's put that there. Hey, let's take a potty break for a second before you guys okay. decide to uh, make the world fall apart. Because I feel like that's where you're going with this. Just, just it's an we were, instinct thing. We we're just going for a walk. I know that always starts off as a roll for initiative. Brett, you rolled a five. Oh my god, can I beat a five? No, all right, kids, have some fun. All right, yeah. who's going first on this thing? I guess, uh, doing dex order again. We could do dex order. So, who's who's got the highest? Well, I believe. I think it's me. Mine's 14. Mine's Yours also 14. Yours is 14. I'll let the giant man go first. Well, actually, we could do it according to proximity. If we look at the way this is set up, so it'd be Gurau, Sundao. These guys are not going to fight. So I'm going to pull these guys back. Yeah. These guys are not going to involve in this thing. They're not going to well, touch this elder I'm thing. Gonna let, they have I'm no gonna, weapons. They can't fight. So it's not going to. I'm going to let Bryn go before me. Um, okay. All right. Okay. All right. So it is Gerhardt. Roll. I don't know. Double bladed axe, which is now a one handed axe, right? I doubled my size. Yes. Uh, it's a 1d8 plus five. What? You have to roll the hit first, right? So 1d20, right? 1d20 plus nine to hit. Says he has these shortcuts, but I don't believe it's here. I got his cut and paste it. That's not that hard. Look, it's already written down. You just grab from the hashtag over, hashtag over, and then paste it. Oh, it's 1d20 plus nine. Oh my god, that is a beautiful hit! Nice. Well, do your double damage, That's right? A, I, I double damage the cog. Hashtag 1d8 plus five. So 22. Wow. That's a massive hit. Oh, oh my butt. Whoa. I cut Whoa. it in half. Describe it, right? No, Let it's still live. It's still live, but that's a beautiful hit. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a fantastic hit. But go ahead. You're kind of cool. Oh, I, don't I get to attack twice? Uh, it's Yeah, you got to do it. And, yeah. That's right. I read my card. Read your card. All right, let's copy this again. Uh -huh. Second attack coming up. We're gonna do a paste. We're gonna hit enter. Seventeen. That's gonna Seven. miss. It's gonna miss. Oh, well, I tried. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, he just has 22 points. Ah, I'm good. That's all I'm going to do for you kids. All up to you now. I'm oh, out. Dear. I'm out. Who's next? I guess I am. Yes. All right. Okay. Attacking weaponless. Oh, we lost Megan. I got Oh, that's going to be miss. Missed. That's going to be miss. I think it's got to come back. Definite miss. As this doesn't work, if we don't I'm... all. What? Yeah, you missed three times? Mm. Are you spanning the tentacles? All right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm shadow backing so you can like see them. There you go. Brit's going to be off guard. Why don't you fizz? You better do something. Oh, there she is. So, Megan, we want Megan to go. Go. Cool. Okay, I'm going to attack with my two handed sword. Nice. All right. Do it, bro. Is... You get to make two attacks. So. 1d20 plus 14. Let's okay. See. Well, good. 
Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Copy. Nice. That hit? Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and roll for damage. Wow. Okay. All right. Make another attack. You get two attacks. Sweet. Okay. Oh, wrong screen. Hang on. A one. Oops. Guess that's a miss. <laughs> what the? Oh my god. Oh nice. my god. Oh. That's not funny. Oh. Okay. Who's standing near me? <laughs> Roll 1d6. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. 1d6. I'm sorry. All right. A one. I have a feeling that's the worst you can possibly do. Your weapon is damaged. What was your weapon worth? I don't know. I mean, you don't know. What is it worth? Yeah. Well, I have a bow. No, but the, what you were using, the weapon you were using. Oh, Two-handed sword? Plus two. It's only worth a plus one now. Oh, okay. Still now it's, good. it's only worth a plus one. You're damaged. Oh, it got damaged. Still good. Uh, I'll fix it when we get back to someplace decent if that yeah. exists anymore so now it's 1d20 plus 13 to make your hits with the sword just letting it so it just went down just a little but still okay it kind of sucks all right but what are you gonna do right um fizz what are you gonna do sure i'm going to try power word stun okay so this will be interesting It's uh, page 70 of your Swords and Wizardry book. I know. Uh, this would be really hard for him to fail. Um, there's but no what? Do what? There's, it says there's no saving throw, but I've got no idea with this thing. No, this one, he does get one. It doesn't matter. Both of them are saving. He would, it's not going to affect this thing. This really? thing is... Well, it's the will. It is actually not. No. It's it's the will of Yiklim. It's actually insubstantial. It's part of a god. <laughs> it's just letting you know. So it's kind of like, I guess it doesn't believe. There's a point where it's not going to work. No. So I'm just letting you know. That's so probably. I'm basically the... trying to stun a part of a god. Essentially, yes. Oh, good to know. Fizz is going to concentrate even harder. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's going to uh, make its attack. Now, um, looking at the way this thing is aligned here, so we have one Gerhardt, I guess, Bryn or Sindow. Uh, I think this will be Gerhardt being closest to being the front. It'd be, oh, uh, shoot. I guess the chances are one, two, three, four, five six i guess i don't know he, he might give okay well it's one two three gerhardt and then it's gonna go send out four five brin sixes fits because he could just be mad by either any of you guys doing your thing to it so let's just see what happens here it's going to make two attacks first attack is the claws right so this is going to suck right so it's a hashtag 1d20 plus 10 Oh, wait, hold on a second. Let's see who's going to attack first. Oh, wait, let's no wait. Nah, let's see if it does D20 plus 10. Let's see who he hits. That's going to hit everybody. 29 is going to hit everybody. Let's see who it hits, right? So, one, two, three is Gerhardt. He's in the front, then it's four, five, six across the top. Gerhardt, definitely. All right, let's see what the claws do. This thing's massive. So, it reaches out with his giant claws. And um, tries to crush, does seven hit points on Gerhardt. That's nothing. That's nothing, right? It's nothing for you. You're immune to this pain. Uh, it's going to reach out with one of its longest tentacles, and it might mess. So I'm just going to do hashtag 1d20 before we figure out who he's going after with this thing. 1d20 
plus 10. And hopefully it's going to be a miss. It's going to hit everybody on the list. I don't think everybody's going to be missing this. So once again, 1D6, 1, 2, 3 is Gerhardt, 4, 5, 6 across the top. Gerhardt, you are slow. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm used to it. <laughs> so you can only make one attack this round coming up, not two. You can oh, only make one attack. Difficult. Your start. Go ahead. Fine. Oh, it's a 20. That's a hit. Yeah, it's Roll right. for damage. Better get it. All right, let's double this. Let's roll high. Boom, 16 damage. 16 damage. Wow. Okay, Bryn. Actually, no, send down. Send down. You're next. Rolls are not liking me tonight. Good oh. God. What is going on? All those things are missing. Uh, Bryn. Okay, I'm using my two-handed, slightly damaged sword. <laughs> Still good. I'm not getting rid of it yet. It's plus, so it's plus 13. Oh, that's going to hit. And is the damage affected? Did you say it was like plus four? Uh, yeah, it's going to go down one. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Ida may stop. Sorry. Ida's here. Being a booger. That dog. Oh, sorry. Okay. Take away one. So it's eight. Eight? That's fine. Mm -hmm. And can I, I do it again? It. Yeah. You're not slowed. Yeah, I'm slowed. Ooh. That's a hit. Oh, wait, wait. Describe it. Nice. Okay. Um, so I go in for my first attack. I make a slash, right? Yes. And then I go and I, I do like a 360 turn to put all of my, is it centripetal force? I don't know. My force it is centripetal force. Slicing it in half. Oh my God. Okay. All right. So, so you cut this thing in half. Flowing. It goes straight down. All right. Um, and it falls. And when it hits the ground, it's, it's features become like protoplasm and just sink into the ground and almost has no bone structure, no nothing. Hmm. It becomes just a puddle. That's underwhelming. Mm -hmm. uh, it's starting to reform, so if I was you, I'd get out of there. Run! <laughs> uh, so you're taking all these people with you, obviously. Come on, Fizz. Hop on my shoulders. <laughs> Fizz, hop on the shoulders. All right, no, um, maybe not that high. I don't know if I'm that strong. You're going up, I take it. This yeah, was your... we'll go up. Oh, God. Uh, uh, Every time you see a number, you're going to say, Oh, God. Oh, what's he doing to us now? <laughs> Every time he sees a number, Oh, God. I always say that because I don't know any other thing to say. <laughs> You know, oh, could oh be my like, gosh! Could be somebody about, passing oh out gosh. muffins. Hey, free muffins! Okay, there's a. Okay, as you come up to here, this yeah. right. Let me see. Okay, um, the white part of this quarter has three exits. The exits to the south and the north are no more than continuations of quarter, but the middle quarter, which leads to the. Where am I reading? This is the same thing. This is thirteen. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, you can go north. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're here. 
Uh, obviously, I think you want to go this way. You could go that way. I don't care where you go. Your choice. Uh, Roserac says we should go to the bigger passage. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll go to the bigger passage. Yeah. Right. He's yelling it the whole time. Oh, we go this way. Go this way. Go this way. He goes, they all communicate. They're going to be honest. They're going to be honest. Everybody like, communicates down here. Sort of freaking out a little bit. Um, and he says, uh, we're going to be glad we have him with us. He points back at that point to um, John Malaire right here. He says, you're going to be glad he's with us. We're going to have to enter the drow belts. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's what he says when he's like marching you through this thing. All right. Come on, Jamo. So, uh, yeah. So as he continues up and out of here, let's jump back. Oh, shoot. Um. I guess we go back to here. Uh, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. I got nobody got killed. Oh wow! Yeah. Why would there be a drop? You think we would have gotten killed? I don't think we would. We're just going on a walkabout. That's right. Okay, so uh, you're going to be on a um, a primary passageway, which is 20 by 20, mm -hmm. the whole way. It's a long passage. There is probably an APB on you after you've slaughtered one of these things, but uh, you guys are moving fairly quickly. So how we do this is every hex, we got to roll a 1d6. Actually, it's a 1d12, isn't it? Yeah, 1d12, and whenever it comes up, with something we can have find out what kind of interaction you're going to run into. Uh, 1d12, 1d10. Oh, it's a 1d10 for you guys. All right. <laughs> so we're going to start team rolling for this, right? So this is where we are. Okay. You guys are now at this span right over here, right above here. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in. This is where we are. Whoa. Okay. And, um, we are going to take turns rolling, not me, you. All right. So just kind of see what's going on here. Um, who's going to roll first for your team? I don't care. Should go around a circle. Every hex has to get a roll of one d ten. I'll roll first. Go ahead. Don't roll a one. Oh, cool. All right. So we've moved one one square. All right. Next one. Who's rolling two? Bryn rolled a four. Fizz rolled a two. So we have moved three hexes. Go ahead. Gerdhart, roll a where's roll the, a where are, where's the cursor? I don't see your cursor. Huh? Where's your cursor? It's not on there. We've moved three hexes. One, two, three. So we're getting to here when we see the Y. I'll roll next. Go ahead. What'd you roll? Five. Five. Okay, cool. All right. So you guys are now here. You're at the branching. Obviously, some of this goes out. You don't know where that goes. Uh, and the other one is it could also leave the Underdark entirely. You don't know, right? Or you can continue on, which would give us this square right here. So I guess this would be Sindau. Three. Okay. We've moved here. Who's this? Uh, go ahead. Uh, I guess next would be Fizz. You're fine. Bryn? Fine. Gerhardt? Four. Okay, cool. All right, let's take a look and see who you guys are. So one, three, one, two, three, four. Okay. You have now traveled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight miles in the underdark. And obviously you had all day. You're gonna have to camp here. 
obviously this was a hell of a long trek and you got a whole bunch of people with you just to give you an fyi um so if you can imagine a passageway um we can take him out he's no longer with us right boom you have a lot of people with you in a 20 by 20 foot passageway if i remember correctly is it that big or i think it's even bigger than that oh, like, good. Let me we can snuggle <laughs> No, it's 30 feet wide. Thank God. Look you wish, that. darling. All right. Okay, let's do this. 30 feet by 30 feet. So, all right, maybe I'll go back out. Let's clean this up first. Uh, fill. Shift all. Mm. Okay. Mm. And then you guys are going to have to, uh, this gives uh, Fizz time to get back some of his spells. Because I don't think you had any of your spells, did you? I, had a few, but yeah. I can't hear him. He just does he not? Does he not? I like know I had, you? No, oh, I, had oh, a, oh. I had a few of them left, but it's nice to have a full load to to load back up. Yeah, yeah. you're your first official rest for a while. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. How you guys want to camp out? Does anybody want to move these things around to everywhere they want? Now, keep in mind you have a group of guys here, one, two, three, that you kind of really don't know. You assumed you're transporting um some of these guys, so you would hope that uh they're gonna behave properly. Mogar, Talik, right? Right. But then you have these three and they don't have anything for camping. They have nothing. They'll be fine. <laughs> hey, better to be chained up. How do you guys want to position this? Who can move these tokens around? Someone move around. Uh, Fizz, Fizz suggests that we all, um, well, one of us four, be awake, you know, during the watch. But we could take watches with one of these other people. So two of us are awake, you know, watching the other. Can I can I go around with our, our, our new uh, cohorts and shake their hands and say thank you for... Oh, 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 here's a... and, as, and as I shake their hand, I want to cast harmonic touch. <laughs> yes, very nice. Most, most nice. certainly, that's most yeah. certainly something that is a very smart move to make. All right, so uh, sit down decides to say, Congratulations on your freedom, shaky, 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 bakey, shaky, bakey. And walks back and says, I got it, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> and um, Fizz is going to um, pull out of his backpack um, okay. his uh, his kitchen. Um, and he's going to start fixing some food. Um, he's going to pull out his hammock stand in his hammock and his comfortable chair. And, of course, his, uh, his cookware, his small stove, and his plates. and his. You How know. much food do you have? I don't even know what you guys have on you, really. I have no I've idea. Got a, I've got a backpack of holding. I've got an entire house. In that <laughs> oh my does god! It does it really fit in that? No, it doesn't. Yeah, you. This is. I've got a comfortable chair with a foot rest, a small shelf with books, pipes. I'm, look, I'm looking it up in the spell book. Or the, uh, how much space does a backpack of holding hold? This is my backpack of holding. You said I could bip the boppy boot stuff. Yeah. I made it the size of Mary Poppins' life. You did. That's I what did. I, I yeah, we, we had a conversation about this. I don't remember this conversation. Is it on a recording? I remember. Wait, what do you remember? What do you remember? <laughs> it's 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 we went over my character sheet. It's like there's a there's a it's hammock. 10, it's 10 by five by three. He is a little man. So okay, that is actually a little pretty chair large. should fit 10 in. by five by three is huge. It well, cannot carry more than a thousand pounds of weight though. Well, I've been carrying around a full kitchen in there. Okay, anyway, <laughs> but still, ten by five by three is a lot. Doesn't matter. I pull up my little small small stove. Okay, I'm cool. All right, some food. you're barbecuing. Whatever you're doing right now. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So, uh, you guys have to rest, and so there's gonna be four intervals of rest. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys break this up. That doesn't matter to me. And so there's gonna be a random roll. Is anybody gonna bother you during this thing? Where are you putting these guys, Jamal and Jamal? <laughs> Jamal Air and Tamasaya. Now she's the dark creeper, dark stalker, I think it is. And then Rosiak. What do you want to? He is a Durger. Dark stalker. He's, he's probably not going to want to be next to these two guys. He's probably yeah. going to want to hang out with these. He's a merchant. So he's probably right. going to want to be with them. 
And for all practical reasons, I'll hang out with the other two. Yeah, I would think that this would probably be your arrangement because you guys are all racist as hell, if I'm not mistaken. So <laughs> let's let's make that a little bigger so we, we can see the racism in its full fledgedness. <laughs> so there, there's, and so you guys, this is a drow. He's got dark skin, and the dark stalker has dark skin. I see what's going on here. I see it. But their tokens are white. So therefore, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Jarm. You said we're racist. What? Huh? Why are you making them brown? <laughs> you just told me to. No, I did. You said they are not. They're not appropriate. <laughs> brown is much better. Is that? Does that seem to work better for this? Does that? Sure. How much further? How much further do you need them back, or is that going to be okay? <laughs> that works. Is that work? I mean, they are essentially twenty feet away. You want them closer or no? No, 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 no. I mean, we're we're all camping together. Um, but the thing is, when but when each of us are going to take a turn up, we one of them can also be awake, also. So we're keeping eyes on each other. Oh. Okay. So who's taking first watch? I'll take first watch. Okay. Am I still big? Probably not big anymore. It only lasts six rounds. It's it's gone. Six rounds of battle. You're back. Um, so you guys get to do uh I know you guys are down hit points. So you get to roll one hit dice and see what you're gained through rest. So send out, you go ahead and roll first. Your hit points are weird though. It's like one D4, isn't it? I don't lose anything. Huh? I didn't lose anything. Oh, then you're fine. Bryn. What am I rolling? You're a I D6? gotta roll a, a D8. D8. So, see how many hit points you get back. We all have the same hit die, D8. Yes. Seven. Well, you're gonna have D8 too. Fitz will have one D4. Or one D6. Or is one D4? It's one D4 for a mage, right? Okay. Durger, you get one D8. Oh, I got one. That sucks. All right, you got one hit point back. Yeah, do we have any healing? No, they don't, do they? No. Okay, that's cool. All right. Um, so uh you're on your watch, your heart. So you're gonna have to roll a a one d ten. Hope you don't get a one. It's a four. Okay. Goes completely by uneventful, nothing happens. So his his little shift there is perfectly fine. Who's taking second shift here? Um, okay, Sendow gets up. All right. Third heart lays down seven. He's totally fine. Okay. Uh the last one, of course, is uh actually four, four. Oh no, Bryn Hart. Bryn. You're going now. Yeah, one D ten. Okay, you're fine. Fizz. Okay. Let's get a little one. Here comes the one. A one D ten? One D ten. Here comes the one. Here comes the one. Bring Here it. Comes the one. Seven. Oh, oh it sucks. All right. <laughs> totally fine. All right. Hey. So uh sucks. the night goes perfectly fine. Nothing happens. All right. So the next day you guys are all up. Uh you can't tell if it's night or day. It's all dark, right? Mm. You just feel well rested. Fitz, do you have your spell list? Sure. Um okay. All right, so for you could send it in the chat if you want. Just type it all, send it in the chat, and I could just. Well, yeah, or well, yeah, I. You know. whatever works for you. Okay. Um, so I, you guys, I, I I cast dark vision the first thing in the morning, so that's cast. On okay, me. so you can see what's going on. That's cool, yeah. right? Joe, these two come up and they now what weapons? How can we protect you if we don't have no? How can we protect ourselves if we don't have weapons? You run. Great point. I don't have any weapons. You don't need weapons because you're our shields. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Just kidding. Just what an kidding. attitude. Oh my god. Just a That's little good. early morning humor. Early morning. Your job's to get in front so we don't get hit. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh yeah. Uh how do you address this issue with these guys? I give them a toothpick. <laughs> Rosar don't care. He's a merchant. He doesn't really care. But these other two are fighters of some sort, so they think that they should have some kind of weaponry. 
Well, tough shit. <laughs> I guess you're unanswering the question means you're not going to answer the question. Okay. You don't have any weapons. All right. Well, you guys are right here at this pass, and there's this way, and then there's this way. What about that away? This is where you came. I I'm kidding. It's. Oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Yeah, so you can either go that way or that way. They're probably all going to go the same way eventually. But some are minor passages and some are major passages. It's kind of, I don't know. Hmm. Well. I think, oh, sorry, I was looking at my spells. Um, sure. Let's stay in the major passes, right? Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, but the minor passes kind of, are we in CH9 now? You guys are right here at this Y in the road. I can imagine. Oh. So it would be a shortcut if we took the little tiny road. Six or one, half a dozen of the other. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, let's take the, the smaller one. All right. Smaller passage? We'll yeah. take the shortcut. Nothing yeah, ever happened on the shortcut. <laughs> an intimidating laugh yeah. oh. 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 oh my god yes oh, oh god oh uh, like whoa Finally, you guys are uh, uh, mm. okay, cool. All right, um, so one d10, right? You guys go one d10, one d10, one d10. I guess Paul dropped out. Uh oh, so we'll do uh, what t who's going this one first? One d10, go ahead, hit it. Seven's fine. Now we got to do the next one. That would be obviously, uh, Bryn, you want to roll 1d10? Yep. Okay, Fizz, 1d10. Did it. Oh, nice. Okay, so you actually run into um, uh, something that kind of looks a little strange. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's an ugly old woman selling meat pies off of a cart. Yes. No. Yes. No. Meat pies. No. <laughs> Three of them. Oh my God. Uh. Sarah Windmill. Yes. No, you get to a weird area. All of a sudden, it's not like this jagged, busted up rock kind of quarter passageway you miss I and mean, it's all kind of like sort of dank dusty but also lifeless all of a sudden it becomes smooth stone cut right hmm. also it's kind of like oh this is strange so you come walking in through where what is one right okay. and uh there's nothing unusual about the passageway other than the fact that it now appears to be completely smooth stone right interesting then you go into a larger room it's very very large uh Stone door to the west wall and set five feet deep in the alcove. On the door is a stone circle marked with symbols of some strange kind. Ooh. Can we investigate the symbols? Yeah, sure. Uh, do an intelligence check. 
An intelligence check coming up. 46 for you. Roll one or two. Yeah. Roll two twos. Uh, you figured out what it is. Nice. Right? Uh, upon closer examination, right? It is actually not so much a circle. Um, it is actually... Uh, it's a wheel that can be turned. And the symbols are carved into the door, so it actually kind of like it's like a doorknob. Hmm. This looks like an interesting doorknob. Um, you can turn the wheel. How interesting. Can I listen at the door? Yeah. Why don't you go 5d6 on that? Well, one or two. Why couldn't I get this roll during the battle? That's a nice looking roll for damage. <laughs> Did you not get one? Oh my God. <laughs> Four sixes. The one time I won a one or a two. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, you can't, uh, you don't hear anything. It's a pretty heavy door. It's a stone door. Mm. Well, and what's and so we're in this. So we're at by the door, and in this other area, of, I guess is room three. There's nothing else in that room. No, totally cleared out. Interesting. Is it suspiciously clean? Immaculately clean. Yeah. No, oh, no, it looks all nice. No dust on the ground. There's no dust on the floor. Hmm. Uh, no, I mean, there's dust and stuff. It's not like, no. No. Hmm. Interesting. Any footprints or anything? Tracks? Uh, just normal track. I mean, this is a, a through frere. Yeah, people oh. move through this thing. Yeah. They usually move down, come down through here. Maybe somebody lives here. Maybe it's an inn. Maybe they're selling meat pies. Shall we knock? I don't know. I mean, you guys could circumnavigate this thing all together and just move down. Um, Unless you're curious, curious to see what's on the other side, something that's... We asked the like other... We asked the other... Um, people we're traveling with if they know who resides on the other side of this door if anybody's been here before they have they, don't they have no idea they've never seen the door ever opened oh well that's interesting you don't put the door up for a vault on the outside where anybody can open it that's that's a prison oh well okay Well, <laughs> and considering what we've run into down here so far, I'm curious. Okay. Well, yeah, sure. Um, well, we can, we can bypass it. We're trying to get to the, so you're going down. Thing. Why not? Okay. So you're avoiding this thing and we're going straight on down. Okay, cool. Um, so that was that one D 10. Who's rolling it. Here we go. We're right, we're right here now, so it's one d ten. Who's gonna roll that? Really? Go ahead, hit it. Don't roll. Oh, he did. He rolled a five, so we're fine. And then all of a sudden, you come to this other chamber. This is strange. Everything's strange. I don't think anything's normal or sane around here. This is twenty six. Oh God. Okay. Such a weird guy. Matt Finch, something was wrong with this guy. Okay, cool. Just letting you know. This, some of this doesn't make sense. Ooh, okay. You like that? You like myself looking so excited? Okay. Close that. Close that. Close that. 53. Okay, hopefully it doesn't have any. Yeah. Ooh, okay, 
Okay, here we go. Cool. All right. This is what you see. You start coming down the passageway, right? Okay. Uh, this is a naturally formed tunnel following what seems to be an old dried up channel through uh, limestone. Uh, the walls are swirled with strange abstract patterns, and there's a roaring noise ahead. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Waterfall. Yeah, you can hear it. Sounds like a waterfall, right? So as you move closer and closer, right, uh, you get to uh, the walls of this naturally formed limestone cavern are covered in wavy lines, which are now obviously the remains of different water levels that once filled the area. The water streams down a 70-foot cataract from some upper cavern, tumbling to a large pool and running down to a smaller one. There apparently drains away from the bottom of the drainage pool, right? Mm-hmm. Reminds me of the minds of Mac Mordain Cordell. Pretty water. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. <laughs> Are we at number one? Coming down from one? Yeah, you came one and you're actually at number three. Number three. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, okay. So we're going to two or are we going to try to uh that small part well i i think two is probably the, the way we want to go if we're trying to just keep moving yeah okay groovy wait one second wait uh-oh uh, Why can I ever find anything? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. So um, as you turn to start going back to two, obviously, um, this. Oh, All right. Uh, uh, a whole bunch of lightning comes pouring down from a top and it strikes at all of you. Everybody has to make a saving throw. Let's see if anybody gets a hit. Uh, if you save, you take half damage, which is uh, full damage is 24 hit points worth of damage. Uh, we'll see how this works out. Go ahead. 1d20. 1d20. Your saving throw is on your sheet. I don't know what it does. Top of my head. I rolled a 20. You're fine. 12 hit points of the damage, though. Oh. I somehow got clicked out of the thing. The rolls. Uh, I clicked out of the rolls. Sorry. Brynn! I think you failed. My saving throw is a four. Oh, then you're fine. Okay. Okay, you're okay. Go ahead. So you're taking 12 hit points of the damage. Earnhardt, I think you passed. What was your saving throw? Wait, so I'm taking 12 hit points? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bernhardt's saving throw is da, 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 five. So you're okay. Right? Who else do we have here? Fizz for Bernhardt's. I guess it's just Fizz. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm getting. Oh, you got kicked out? Cycling. Yeah. Cyclopean, do you want me to send the link to you or no? no I, I got it. I'm getting there right now. I don't know how I got knocked out. I do all it right. all the time. Do yeah. I, you know how many times I do it when we're playing all the time? I, all I just right. like, got a meets. Go ahead. So I just got a beat of five, cool. and I did not. I rolled a three. 24 hit points with the damage. What's that put you at? Oh, I think I'm dead. No, I'm no, dead. you can't no. be dead. <laughs> no, I'm, I am down to five. Are you serious? Yeah, I had I only had twenty nine. You're down to five hit points. You guys are gonna lose your glass cannon. All right. And from the top of the waterfalls, looking down upon you, is this massive beast, right? Just waiting for people like you just to walk by. Obviously, creatures gotta eat. 
After it does that, it scampers down with all eight of its legs rushing down the side of the thing, almost like a giant centipede, laying straight into the center of the area which you're standing. Wanting clearly right down the side just to try and perch the fight. Who's rolling? Roll for Maybe he odds. just wants to be friends. 1d6. I rolled a three. Who's rolling a d6 for initiative? Six. Okay, Sendow's going to be the person. All right, let's. I'm going to go back out to the the this thing so we can actually figure out what's going on here. Um, to give a kind of an outline of this thing because it is 10, 20, 30, 30 by 10. Wait, 10, 20. Okay, it's 30 by 50 area. So let's go to here. So this is 30 by 50. And uh, these guys, this thing is probably going to eat all these things behind you, I would think, because that's what that's what bad guys do, which means you're probably going to lose your uh, guys. You know, this thing's pretty big. Let's see. Oh, cool. I could do it like this. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I didn't know I could try it like that. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know what you guys want to do. He's charged up to the bottom. Uh, electricity. I think these other guys have to make a save. I forgot about them. Uh, oh. I'm going to let you guys. Who wants to roll saving throws for these guys? Somebody here? Yay, raise your hand. Who's doing it? Let's see if any of these guys are going to survive this thing because they are not as big as you dudes. So they may die. Uh, 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 okay, this is going to be horrible. I'll do... Um, I rolled an 18, a 2, and an 8. Um, let's, do, uh, let's do Rosark first. Uh, I rolled an 18, a 2, and a 9. Okay. Okay, I... Oh, there's a bunch of more. Wait. Okay, well, these guys are dead. 18, 2, and a 9. Well, hold on for a second. Let's, let's, can we do individual guys? Because okay. I just confused the sh living crap out of me for a second. Hold on a second. Wait. Um, okay. Well, I don't know. What you, I mean, it's all of a sudden... Wait, 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 wait. You start rolling things. Hold on a second. Wait, uh, 20. All right, let's do let's do one guy at a time. Number uh one. Why is this this is weird? Where is this thing? 20. 20. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Oh, okay. This book is so confusing. Okay, first. Do the uh do the drow. Drow. Let's see if there's nine. Roll for drow. What'd you get? Um a four. All right. He fails, and he is dead. He killed your drow. I know you guys are all heartbroken about that. Let's go for the Dark Creeper. Let's see if he's going to live this one out. Go the Dark Creeper. He rolled a two. Uh, God! <laughs> Jesus, Lord. He's dead. Let's Good kitty. Uh, like, it's my, it's my good luck cat. Yeah, the good luck cat's not rubbing up on this. Go ahead, do the uh, rosy arc. Do that one. 11. He failed. Like, all those three guys are dead. <laughs> Mike, somebody else roll. Mike's killing everybody. Oh, my God, Mike. You killed him, him, and him. <laughs> Holy Okay. Who's going to roll for... Oh. <laughs> well, maybe he'll just eat, eat those three and leave us alone. <laughs> oh my, this is a mess, dude. Okay, let's okay, let's go over to this guy now. Let's go to uh Talc, the Durgar sergeant. Who's rolling for him? Who would like to roll for him? Anybody I'll, but Mike. I'll do it. Okay, roll. What about just a D20? Just a D20, see if he makes a save. Oh, oh Durgar, did he make it? His saving throw is actually a 16. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead 
<laughs> Your guys are dying on you. Oh my god, this sucks. All right, let's do this guy. All right, okay, he's gone. Bogar, at least the guy you're transporting. Oh my god, he has to, you just have to hit a six. Roll it. I already rolled it, it's 15 again. Oh, okay, okay, good. He's still alive, he's taking half damage. That's gonna put him, uh, okay, he's fine. That's he's he's pretty strong, all right. Six. Okay, I think that covers everybody. You just guys, you guys just cleared out half the people with you. Just got electrocuted. All right, now it's your attack. All right, here we go. Ready? I don't know who's going first. Uh, I guess I. Why don't you go? Let's do it. <clears throat> What'd you do? What you doing to this giant monster? 27. Uh, that would hit this thing. Is, oh, yeah. is it uh, five higher than the required number to hit? Uh, yes, it would be. All right. I have a uh, deadly strike ability. Okay. Target has a 75% chance to be stunned by the blow for 2d6 rounds. All right. Roll one d four. If it's if it's a one, he's or actually, if it's a one, then he's not stunned. That's easy, right? Okay, boom! You have stunned this animal. For you know, order roll a two d six. Yeah, so long. That's that's just crazy. He just punched it until it's stupid. <laughs> Moreover. The mystic perfection of the blow also has a 25% chance to kill the opponent, provided the opponent's hit dice are no more than one higher of mine. Uh, well, let's roll that. If you roll a one, you kill it out of 1d4. Uh, it's still alive. All right. Um, so I roll for damage of the first hit. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 19 damage good god all right wow cool all right uh second swing Fine. natural one <laughs> you stumble on your three laces no i'm just gonna go ahead do the next one natural 20 she just hit a natural twenty. Holy crap! All right, let's 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 do that first. Let's see what happens, or should we say they negate? I think negate would be perfect. because you, yeah, because you just otherwise I'd have to take back the injured sword. I'm not taking back that injured sword. Well, let's say wait. Let's go back to uh, yeah. So you hit. You get to do normal damage on this time. But no, you just roll for to see how much. Just roll for damage. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let's go back. So you still are five over. You want to see if you stun it for additional time? Because right, you hit a twenty, right? That's way. That's five over. So you're gonna have to actually determine whether or not I. I. It's already stunned. So let's skip the stun. Let's, let's see if this one, if you kill it, I give you fifty fifty on killing it because it's already stunned. So roll it. If you roll one or two on a D4, you killed the thing. Go ahead, roll it. No, it's still alive. <laughs> roll for damages. <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right. Who's next? I am. Yeah, go for crazy. With my two-handed sword. That's actually a hit. Okay. Do for damage. Nine. Sweet. Okay. I attack you, come in, you slice it hard. It's basically, yeah, you guys are going to have an easy time hitting this. I guess not moving. You stunned it. Go ahead. Okay. That's probably a hit. <laughs> uh, you probably could describe this now at this point. Oh, nice. 
okay, yeah, it's kind of pointless uh, to, to keep hacking on something so, that cannot fight back. <laughs> it's like you're going to miss. It's just sitting there. You stun the hell out of it. It's not going to be able to do it. I, I, I brace my sword with my two hands and I go at ramming speed directly towards its chest and just stab it in the heart. Nice. What I assume is the heart. Oh, uh, cool. There is a... Oh, I shouldn't tell you this. Okay. Let's go back and look at the geography of the room. Okay. So this is what you're looking at. I'll let you think about this. So we have to get up there if we want to look to see if it has any treasure. Yeah. Is so the only way up there via the And the monk. He could climb. Yeah. I guess. I could also levitate you up there. I could also. Oh, well, that um, might be a little easier. That might be a little easier. The other thing which I could do you is I could. You'll get wet that way. You got to climb through a waterfall. <laughs> I could. um. Do you want me to animate this, the the dead? I could bring this corpse back to life, and we could ride it up up there. Um, how big is this thing? Is it would it fit through the passageway on the way out? No, it's pretty. It's like a dragon practically, but it doesn't no. have wings, right? I don't know. No, then <laughs> you animate the dead. Well, that's one way of doing it. Yeah. Uh, I'll save that. I stuff. mean, you probably could take it with you. How long does that last? Animate the dead until it's slain again. Does it follow? Actually, no. It just skeletons or zombies. It it, 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 yeah. yeah, it won't do something like this. <laughs> You're not the Night King. <clears throat> not yet. Although, All right. <laughs> All right. Let me try to scale this thing, and if I, I fail, you can let it hit me up. Okay. All right. Five e six. That thing. Let's see. Roll a one or two. You get your way up. It's easy. You have an 87% chance, so. Jesus. But you have the ability not to fall. Well, your monk abilities. What yeah, I can monk? slow fall. So, I mean, I, if I fall, I don't take any damage. You don't take any damage, right? So, you, you got because the water is pouring on you. You're like, ah, this, this sucks. Yeah, that's not going to work. So, I guess, Mike. Leviosa, you know. Yes, I will. I will cast levitate on the monk. <laughs> okay, and um, he will levitate on us. All right. So when you get up there, uh, you see um, God, a slew of bones. This is what this thing does for a living. There is uh, eight bugbear bones, three goblin bones, four cobalt bones, two human bones, five dirgers, six dark creepers, two troglodytes. A whole bunch of serpent folk, they're all just a big in piles everywhere, right? Uh, you see, uh, in your supply of wealth, 14 takas, they're worth 25 gold pieces each. I guess I should write these. Down. Actually, I'm just going to mark this and maybe uh, send it to you in the um, um, and then you guys can put it on your thing, but I'll just read it out loud. Uh, 1,563 gold pieces, 2,021 silver pieces. 4,500 copper pieces, two amethysts, right? A pearl, uh, they're worth quite a bit. A necklace of amber beads, platinum chase silver cup, a short sword, plus one that gives you a plus two against lightning and electricity. Obviously, it didn't work for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Seven healing potions. Obviously, someone didn't take them in time. A scroll of invisibility. A blue pill of regeneration. And there's a box with five other pills in it. Uh, mild euphorics. How are you getting this downhill? I'm going to chuck it. <laughs> chuck it down into the water? How Isn't there like a, a, it's a, the waterfall is the only way down? Yeah. Um, well, obviously, I'm going to leave most of that money behind because that's whatever. Uh, definitely want to take the potions. You could take the takas. They're 25 gold pieces each. That's yeah, the takas. That's a night currency. I'm going to write these down. 
You tell me exactly how much you want of what. There's a lot of stuff here, right? I so, want all the, all the takas. Okay. I want the pearl, all, all the gems, really. Okay, so the two amethyst. Yeah. And they're 50 gold pieces each, right? Yeah. A pearl, one pearl, is worth 500 gold pieces. The necklace with the amber beads, right? That's worth 500 gold pieces. Platinum and silver cup, 250 gold pieces. How about the short sword? Uh, does anybody need it? Leaving the short sword. Uh, definitely the healing potions. Seven healing potions. Yeah, I need those. And the, uh, <laughs> and the pills. Pill of regeneration. Yeah. It was does, anybody want, does anybody want the euphoria pills? Oh, I would love those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> any get... any pills that you have, that'd be great. Invisibility? Did you get that? Oh. Was that a scroll or yeah, scroll yes. invisibility? Okay. Scroll invisibility. Nice. Okay, cool. All right. See, so clear this place out. Obviously, he's been sitting here just mining XP, sitting up there just biting things that came walking by, which I guess would be the best thing. So you have this giant carcass. You're just leaving this thing out here like this, this giant yeah, monster. it's fine. You can drag it back to the old <laughs> guy. Hey, do you want to buy the brains, the flesh? Oh, oh that's a good idea. Is that what you guys are going to do? No, I don't want to go back. <laughs> yeah, he'd, he'd probably kill us again. We're, we're done with this, right? We're not going to go there, right? We We've learned our lessons. <laughs> But is there is there anything on this body that I could use for making potions and stuff? Ah, I'll start pulling off some claws and some. Teeth. Do a do a a forty six roll. I'll do a forty six roll and I'll figure this out. Um, see if this thing. Well, that failed miserably. I have oh, three no. fives and a six. No. Uh, in inspecting the thing, you do notice something. Oh. On the top of its head, it has an engraving. Ooh, I look at that engraving. It says property of Jupiter Quan. Ah, I hate that son of a gun. <laughs> I know where to teleport this corpse. <laughs> Prop no, I'm not going to waste the teleportation. Property anymore. of Jupiter Quad. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. So I think we should stop here. It's 11 o'clock. Let me tell you where you guys are on the hex map. You are currently right here. And you're, oh, so you can't see it. Okay, you're right here. And yeah. you're going to be going over to here. So you're okay. right here at this spot. Just kind of okay. letting you know. This is the Durger world, so obviously you're going to be entering this realm, whatever it is, before you get there. Makes sense. Makes and sense. This was fun, y'all. Um, God dang it. I got post-it notes are pretty nice. I didn't think about using these things. And my familiar didn't die this time. Not Yay. yet. Look, you didn't whip her out. And... Only one. Is it a girl or is it a boy cat? Yes. <laughs> that doesn't help. He, she does not want to be defined. Okay. Goldie. That's how we're running that. <laughs> All right, kids. All right. Have fun. All right. Later, Gators. Bye. See you. All right. Cool. Bye. I didn't realize my mic was off this whole time. Shit. <laughs>